you not have, you, can you not take them to the park? <laughs> Every time I do a weigh-in, the scale's broken. I'm not a marriage I'm scammer. scammer. I seriously thought about doing foodie beauty reactions simply for the fucking money. <laughs> Hillbilly crap white trash people. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is the, pro the the power of prayer for the return of the one and the only. She's back. She's still in Canada. That's great. Skyfire Jean, hello. Jay, Heather, emotional support muffin. Quarter to three. Frosted in gold. Sham. Yes, get your prayer candles today. That's right, people. That is three for three for sure. That is great. Light the candle and she shall appear. Chubby Bear, hello. You felt the animal. I don't care. I love it. Missing Mimic, Monica Bay, 76, Amy P, DG, <laughs> Ratatouti, Jerry, Emotional Sport Muffin, Augustus, Rosie, Helene, Shannon, Monica, Langello. Oh, shoot. I lost my place. Sky for Arth, Jean, WNC, Tar Heels, Ravens of Magic, Lisa Simpson. Hey, girl. Hey. On the replay, gang, gang today. Uh, Frosty the Home Man, hello, Yulia, good to see you, Rosie, Lauren, Crystal, Megan, Cuppy Cake, Mia Moore, Ami Ami, sometimes it snows in April, Plutes, DG says, I don't know, or Sam says, DG, I don't know, we shall see, Hot Wasabi, good to see you, <laughs> you've been enjoying her absence, don't worry, I don't think she's going to be back for long, 31 frames, hello, Chantel, Lioness, Strawberry Punch, Monica, Shiny Seals, Big Balls, Veronica, Ravens of Magic, You Filthy Animal, mm -mm -mm. Honey Bun, Pondu, love the name, Cuppy Cake, Little Lossie, Seda, Panda Queen, Jess, She Was Kissed by Fire, Rosie, Misty Dreamer, Poultry Geisha, Trigger Me Elmo, everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. It is a rainy very 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 just dreary day outside it's all gray it has been for like what the last two days now i think we got another day to get through before we actually get some sunshine and good weather well at least the uh, weekend's gonna be good mm, hey pink warrior kimbalina hello hello la 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 remy cancer warrior <laughs> don't fit to be in hello michelle just deb auntie m maritza's life hello that entire video foodie uploaded was all lies, man. The entire thing. Raven's Magic says all cap from Foodie Beauty. What? I mean, what do you mean? You think she's not sick at all? She's uh, faking the illness of why she went to the hospital? I think that's exactly why Big Girl went to the hospital. Hey, just Jamie, mother of gliders. Good to see you. Panda Pondu, hello, hello. English tea drinker, good afternoon to you. Carol, hello, honeydew, honeydew, pondu, must be your uh, your cousin, must be, Maria, view and chew, hello, Petrina, good to see you, Kyle, hello, uh, norovirus is highly, highly contagious, is Shmi and stepdaddy sick too, I thought about that as well, don't fence me in, absolutely, mm-hmm, I'm dead. Prince songs remind me of you. Change their name, Sam. Look at it. <laughs> Rain in Tennessee, too. I'm telling you, I feel like this is one of the springs. When Sam first came down to southern Indiana, she was talking about, like, all the rain we, we get during spring. So it's hit and miss for us. Either we get rain just constantly during spring or we just have a fucking drought. Like, last year wasn't bad at all. We really didn't have much rain. But this year, I can tell. I can just tell about how it's already going non-stop rain around the clock from the time you get up to the time you go to bed for days at a time i feel like it's gonna be like that again this year it's your birthday megan eight happy birthday to you congratulations on making it another year 
Oh, yeah. We had another birthday. Who tagged me on the Twitter? I seen it early this morning. You know what? I'm the worst because I've done forgot. Let me go over here and take a look because they asked for a birthday shout out. Who was that? Tenacious H. Is it you? Is Yes. Tenacious H, I remembered. Happy birthday to you, hun, and congratulations for making it another year. I think she eats herself into a crisis for content. <laughs> Listen, when is she not in crisis, right? You know what? Let's not even talk about it. Let's watch the damn video and then discuss. Lots of rain on the East Coast, too. I mean, yeah, we need it every so often. But, yes, it does get depressing. I agree. It's it's depressing, and it gets in the damn way. We had to go out yesterday and do some things, and holy shit, we all got soaking wet. Hmm. Day three for you, too? Wow. Hey, Mags girl, don't worry. We're just getting started. Ooh, Raven's Magic said drug-seeking. Your birthday was Monday. Trigger me, Elmo. Well, happy birthday to you and congratulations on making it another year. Oh, yeah. You got lots of uh, April birthdays, huh? Is it tourist season? Is that what we're in right now? I believe so. You know, my mother was a tourist. Mm -hmm. And so was one of my sons. And then it's Gemini season. It's our time to shine, baby. Nonstop rain where you are, too. Raining like mad in the UK, more than usual. Oh, hell. And the UK is already gray enough, right? Flood warnings here in the city, but this next week, we're supposed to be close to 80. Us, too. Yeah, we're going up to close to the 80s. The weekend's supposed to be really nice. That's awesome. Oh, my goodness. Your girls have the stomach bug? Mm-hmm. Congrats, Chantel. Late to the party. What did I miss? Chantel shitting and puking on herself. Seattle Sapphire's low carb world. Thank you so much for your support, hun. I appreciate you. Good to see you. Um, Alexi, hello, hello. Oh, really? Not tourist season yet. Mm -mm -mm. My dad is a tourist. All my friends are Gemini. <laughs> You're in the desert, Raven's Magic. Let me get her video pulled up. I can't believe it. Another. What time did she upload? Nine hours ago. So that must have been like. Probably right after I went to bed. I spent a day in the hospital. Who I, I just don't. And I told Sam. And again, I know we're, we're talking about Chantel here. Like, I totally get that. And of course, it is to be expected from Chantel. I, I just, I, even though it is Chantel, I'm never going to understand the content that she puts out on her channel. And how weird it is. The fact that she needs to announce. I mean, it would be one thing if there was some story to go with it. Hey, Black Cats. Like, she fell, she she broke her ankle, something serious. You know, okay, maybe then. You know, like I said, if there was a story to go with it. <laughs> Panda Pondu. But the fact that she went to the freaking ER over her little stomach virus that she had, not only did she go, did she tie up the resources in the Canadian hospital, but she made an entire YouTube video about it. I spent a day. We don't give a fuck. Yeah, okay, you got the freaking stomach flu. Who doesn't get the stomach flu every so often? Oh, I'm sorry. This is uh, not necessarily the stomach flu. It's a little bit different, right? I've heard a lot of uh, talk about how you uh, actually pick up the virus that she got from not washing your hands is a big one. I went to the ER because I was shitting myself. Like, there's so many questions here, right? I, I don't know that I've ever had what she had because I didn't go to the hospital and get any kind of, like, test done I just stuck it out like most people do right but how do you get that sick because the way she describes it I'm gonna assume is like what they call the, the stomach flu where you're shitting and you're puking at the same time we're all adults here we probably all have been through that at some point in our life it's horrible you feel like you're not gonna make it that you're gonna die you know but my question is how do you even get to the hospital in a state like that Without things happening, right? Antonis says lies. I don't believe her. Just her Mimi says, I thought she went to New York. I don't think she went to New York for the uh, hospital visit. She was in Canada. And then when she got better, it was either before she got sick or after she got better that she went to New York, right? There is no test for the norovirus. It was a guess from the ER. 
Mm. Mm -mm. Ass in the toilet, face in the bucket. Exactly, Kelly Jean. God. Oh my God. I can, I cringe just thinking about it. It's from ingesting poop. Literally, it's not a common stomach bug. Let's watch and then discuss. It's another level of constant puke and poop, like relentless. You mean what she's talking about that she had? Food poisoning? I've never had. I don't know. I had food poisoning once. Yeah, that's pretty fucking bad, too. Mm -hmm. New York was for the Chinese buffet. Let's watch and talk about it. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> oh, Canada, our home and beezing land. Get a cameo now while I'm in Canada while you can. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are starting with a random mini travel vlog to upstate New York. In particular, Messina. First we had to pass through the Aquasosne Mohawk Reserve though, and then cross a bridge to get to the USA- Who's we? Who's we? Hey Nancy, is she with somebody? Or is she talking about her and her pretend YouTube friends? Is that what's happening right now? So she runs someone's trip border. I think she went to uh, over to New York to see how her visa was going to be. I think she did all her visa procedures, got her paperwork all together. And I think she just wanted to test it out. I could be completely wrong. Maybe she just went to New York for the same reason that she always goes to New York, which is to eat, which is definitely very possible. But there's also the possibility that she wanted to test her visa out. You know, she's right across. Something happens if they hold her up, that they, you know, detain her. She's right there. Her schmeek come scoop her up. <laughs> it, uh, it's happening. I'm here and I'm ready. On time. Only four. 14 minutes late. Hey, MC. Good to see you, hun. She wanted Sonic. Hey, Lyra. Have a good day at work, hun. Read the road sign. Foodie seeking behavior. Hey, Kiki. Oh, so this is old content, huh? We is her and Gunther. Happy pre-Friday. Tamara, thank you so much for your support, hon. I appreciate you. That's right. We is her and Gunther. How could I forget? Jinx's journey says banned from Kuwait. No visa needed to enter the U.S., just her passport. Oh, okay. Hmm. Can she be one with the fucking C already? I'm sick of her shit. We're sick of your shit, Chantel. Okay, we made it through. Who is we, ma'am? Is it, is it possible that somebody else is with her? Or do you think she's just saying that to make people speculate that somebody is with her? Hey, great aunt Ray. Good to see you, hun. Okay, yeah, okay. Then we can throw that out the window. She doesn't need a visa to go to New York. Gotcha. She says we multiple times. The date at the border is for the 8th. Hmm. I had no specific reason to come here today. I just like checking it out. I have no specific reason to come here today. I just want to check it out and go to New York and eat a bunch of food. That's all I want to do. And I guess I'm going to record it and upload it to my channel. <laughs> that hot dog is juicy. Every few years to see if anything has changed. I also love driving around to nowhere and anywhere at any given time. Question for Americans. Is She's keeping that footage tight. You think Pete's in the car with her? Do you want to poll it? Do you want to poll on whether or not she has a passenger in the car? Let's do it. Why not? For shits and giggles. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, I heard her say they gave her six bags of fluid. Lies, unless she's willing to admit she's well over 400 pounds. That's insanely dangerous. She absolutely is over 400 pounds, Monica. 100% over 400 pounds. There's there's not even a doubt about that one. Thank you so much for your support. Holding on for the tab. Thank you so much for gifting one of the YouTube Underground memberships. Holly, welcome, welcome. New member. Okay, incoming on the poll. The someone drive the she's driving. She's the one driving for sure. Oh, people are saying Pete's doesn't have a passport, huh? Missy Mimic says she's 500 pounds. Dollar General, like a really good dollar store. So maybe she's just wanting people to speculate that somebody else is with her. Or maybe this is just part of the uh, little mind games that she's playing with Salah. Maybe she wants him to think that there's somebody else with her in the car. All right, so we have here a little shopping mall with a Chinese buffet, a cinema. We equals her and her only friends, the vlog viewers. That's true, she who shoots herself. Thank you for the support. Yeah, that's what I'm going to assume she means by we. But I just feel like she's she's just extra saying it. You know what I mean? Hey, Dank Fupa, good to see you, hun. She probably ate Dee Dee's pussy again and had to leave the country. I'm dead. Speaking of Dee Dee's pussy, where is Butter Crumpet? A big lots. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. All right, so this is what's playing at this cinema. Is this old movies? I can't tell. So I didn't notice this until it was too late, but the crappy gas station car charger I purchased wasn't working and therefore wasn't charging my phone this whole time. So at some point my battery died and thus why the vlog of Messina was no more. But I didn't want to waste the whole trip, so I'm still sharing the clips I have. Sorry guys. Anyways, unfortunately, things recently have taken a bit of a toll for the worse, health-wise. Hey, Miss Sane, good to see you, hun. Health. Oh no, poor cutie, what's wrong? What happened? Why did you have to go to the hospital? I had her turned down, so sorry. What happened? Is it your uncontrolled type 2 diabetes? Is it high blood pressure? Is it all that traveling from Kuwait to Canada, from Canada to Kuwait? Are they going to cut the sugar foot off? Is today the day it's going to be pickled? No. You got the shits, huh? And you packed yourself up and drove yourself to the hospital? That's another thing. She drove herself to the hospital. She drove herself so she was shitting and puking so bad that she thought she needed to go to the ER to seek treatment. I just want to know how she made it. Like, how do you make it? How do you make it when you got when you're shitting and puking at the same time? How do you drive yourself anywhere? Like, dude, I've laid out on a fucking bathroom floor before with the stomach virus. I cannot imagine leaving my home and driving to the hospital. I just can't. How, how did that happen without something else happening during that time? Without you shitting your pants or puking everywhere? How did you how do you manage to do that? Is all I'm saying. Really honestly, I'm curious. Maybe she'll tell us. I doubt it, but maybe she'll tell us. Hello. So as you can see, I'm in the beep 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 the fucking dramatics. The dramatics of it all, bro. Out of all the issues she has, the norovirus is the last reason she should be at the hospital. Exactly. She's in great health. She's just got that little virus. That's all, guys. We are amazing. Um, I have norovirus or the, um, the bad stomach flu, the highly contagious one. Highly contagious. Wow. Highly contagious, and you take your ass to the emergency room. Is she for real? Are you serious? You know that shit's highly contagious. You knew. I mean, she might not have known that it was that virus. Fair enough. But you know that it was something to do with the stomach virus. You were shitting and puking. Wait that shit out at home. You don't need to drive your ass to the emergency room for help. 
you're not going to pass away if you can survive uncontrolled diabetes for for years upon years upon years. What else does she have? Freaking cyst on her lungs or some shit like that. You, you can survive all that. But when it comes to the stomach virus, oh, no. Oh, God, gee, golly, I might pass away. Let me drive myself with my contagious ass to the hospital because fuck everybody else. Fuck them all. And let me film myself in the hospital because poor pitiful me. I'm going to need some content for my YouTube channel. You guys, I had the shits. I had the shits. I don't know where I got it. The last time she was in Canada, she had to go to the ER after a Chinese buffet bees. She's never going to learn, Jamie. Thank you for your support. I don't know where I got it. I have no idea where I got it. She's serious. She's serious right now. The fucking crazy thing is she's serious. No, I don't think any of this is a lie. I think all of it's true. Every last mm, bit of it. She always does the ERBs when she gets too much blowback from her shit. Poor me. Don't be mad at me. That's fact, Julia. Thank you for your support. The audacity of this eat beast taking full advantage of a hill healthcare system that she not only doesn't pay into, but disparages on the regular. Absolutely, Plutes. Thank you for your support. <laughs> Butter Crumpet, you're so funny. Good morning. I hope <laughs> I never get it again. I hope I never get it again. It is the worst illness. I swear, it's it's. We know, we know. We might not have all had that virus, whatever it is, norovirus, but we've all had the stomach virus. We know how bad that is, and we all know to stick it out at home. It's so contagious. It's so contagious, and here she is, just laying up in the hospital room, not even concerned. Disgusting. So Did you shit in your Kia. Did you shit in your key on driving yourself to the hospital for attention? Did you? Did you? Did you? Who's cleaning that up? I became severely dehydrated. And so I got sick about, I don't know, maybe three days ago. <laughs> Addicted to Cobra, thank you for your support. For you and Sham, so I don't go get a Mexican pizza. Mexican pizzas are... Not as good as they used to be. That's all I got. I don't remember exactly when, a few days ago, and I woke up in the middle of the night, and I had to throw up. TMI, by the way. TMI! TMI, by the way, okay? TMI. And then... Oh, look, poor cutie. She's just, she's just a poor thing. The other... Other end. Diarrhea. Severe diarrhea. So vomiting, diarrhea, muscle weakness, just... Aww. Aww. She does have a portable bidet. Don't worry. <laughs> I just... I, I, I'm really struggling to understand why you felt the need to pull out your phone and film yourself looking pathetic as fuck in the hospital because you have the stomach flu. fatigue and I'm very dehydrated my sodium and diarrhea everywhere those nurses don't get paid enough to take care of the exactly dank fupa you gotta wonder what they thought hey Rach Marie um, the chloride I don't know my electrolytes. Severe type 2 out of control diarrhea. <laughs> diarrhea. Ta -ta -ta. It's bad. I couldn't. Jess says her body is trying to get rid of all the sugar. That's right, Jess. Thank you for being a member for six months. Keep enough water in, like fluids in. At the rate they were going out, it's bad. It's bad. Don't come near me. You'll catch it. <laughs> You're in a hospital with other patients. Don't come near me. It's bad. Like, do you think that shit's funny? Anyway, just a quick update. 
Um, I'm doing all right. Other than that, um, listen to the to the machine in the background. She loves it. She loves this more than anything. You know. Oh no, the arm cuff thing. It hurts. The blood pressure cuff. Let's see what my blood pressure is. Yella. I don't know. Yella. Crazy thought. Maybe she got it from one of the 10 takeout restaurants she eats at every day. She's doing this for sympathy because Beezers are turning on her after she scammed them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Going on. Anyways. Hey, True Bet Pondu. So I gotta get a whole bunch of fluids. Um. Going to the bathroom is torture because I have to unplug everything and take this thing with me into the bathroom. <clears throat> uh, oh, God forbid you have to put in work into anything. Uh, I do too, MC. Pull the fucking plug. I'm tired. Tell me to sign the paper. All the time. So I'm just trying to get better. And then we should be able to do a bit of beezing. Yeah, I'm very dizzy and just weak. I'm weak. They want me to try to tolerate food. I haven't eaten in... Like... Not this shit again. <laughs> this is giving dangling ankle drama. That's exactly what it is, Guppy. Thank you for your support. Oh, poor cutie. I haven't eaten, guys, and I don't know. It's been like... Uh, it's been at least two hours. I, I, I might pass away from starvation, actually, honestly. Hey, Nisi, hon. Good to see you. Since being sick, pretty much, I tried having, like, an apple because I can't drink. I don't know where people come with up with, like, ginger. How in the hell do you have the stomach virus, or basically the stomach virus, and eat an apple when you're recovering from that? People usually start out with, like, crackers. Something that's going to feel like, I don't know, it's soaking some shit up. You know what I mean? Dire don't, cutie. Exactly, Yulia. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Not gonna lie, I kind of love how Chantel can't handle anything. It cracks me up. Claire, thank you for your support, hon. Let me end the poll. Uh, is Peter with her? Shit, I forgot. Let's see. 47% say yes, 36% say no, and 15% say someone else. Thank you so much for your participation. Why would her family not be there? This is bullshit. What do you mean? Would th they probably told her she doesn't need to go to the hospital just to fucking stick it out. I wouldn't get in a car and drive her anywhere neither. How is that? I'm uh, Seriously, it, it gets gross because it's gross. But you have to ask yourself these questions. If you are just sick as a dog, you're shitting, you're puking, you're dehydrated, how do you make it? From your home to the hospital like how long was the drive i do i'm i mean i get it it's me it's her mom you know or whatever but it's not that it's not that serious you know what i mean like i'm not putting her in my car and driving her to the hospital so what she can puke and shit in my car no why would her family go with her and not only that but it's contagious like her mom's not old old but she's older why would she want to be around chantelle in a small car and, and risk can Getting what she's got. No way. Stump Jumper says she's there for a sponge bath. She smells like sewer pipe. You know she does now. You know she didn't install that portable um, bidet. Mm-hmm. So there. That answers a lot of questions. As far as the, the smell and the sewer smell or whatever. She's, she's not even wiping her ass. She doesn't have the bidet. So let that sink in. I don't think she tells her family shit. Thought her mom was a nurse. Nobody wants to catch that shit. People have jobs. Yeah, her mom has to go to work. She doesn't want what Chantel's got, even though she's probably going to get it anyways. Lights out drill instructor says, I've had Noro, and this ain't it. Lies. She's purging extra blood sugar. She went to that Chinese buffet, and here we are again. Ooh, there's that too, lights out drill instructor. Thank you for your support. Okay, yeah, so maybe she's lying about having the norovirus or whatever. But going to the hospital for whatever, well, I mean, if it was her sugars, I guess it could be a life or death situation. I don't know. 
I feel like Chantel's type of motherfucker to go to the hospital over uh, the stomach virus for sure. Uh, this is a hubcap of rice ERBs. For real. Soda when you're sick. There's nothing I want less than soda. You think it's diabetes related? And then she leaves, tries to, the first thing she puts on her stomach is an apple. An apple. Uh, I thought they give you saltines and shit like that. If you've got stomach illness. Here, have you a couple of crackers. Um, Cracker. My wedding ring fell off in the shower. That's number one, we don't believe that you take showers, okay? And number two, if you even if you puked and shit your little heart out, I don't think that you lost enough weight or the swelling went down that your little ring slid off your finger. Who are you telling these ducktails to, Miss Ma'am? Tap it back. Come with up with like ginger ale. Since being sick, pretty much, I tried having like an apple because I tried, I tried having an apple because that's a smart thing to do. I can't drink. I don't know where people come with up with like ginger ale, soda when you're sick. There's nothing I want. Gunther Ride Shotgun, love the name and welcome to the pores. Thank you so much for being a poor piece of crap. We appreciate you. Be it, I got bad credit with a good heart. I don't know what the hell you want me to do about it. She's so skinny, the ring just fell off of her fingers, guys. That's how bad it was. Less than so That's how, how much liquid she lost out of her body that the, the cheap piece of shit ring just fell off of her fat hand. Okay. Yeah, sure, Jan. Prayers to the hospital staff that smelled her. Listen, prayers to any of the nurses, the doctors, anybody that had to have any kind of interaction with Chantel while she, what do they call it? Like, there's a word for that spreading shit. Because that's what she's doing. What is she, a super spreader? She was up there super spreading her little stomach virus to everybody. <laughs> Cutie, you're withering away. We need to start refeeding process swiftly and gently before you pass. Trust me. She agrees 100%. Um, my wedding ring fell off in the shower. That's because I'm like, I'm being a skinny queen from the norovirus. Denied. Pissing me off this morning. <laughs> I had to do some cameos from my hospital bed. Fun times. Is she? F I didn't even hear that part. Is she serious? Did she do cameos from? She did. Of course she did. Why am I even asking if she really fucking filled cameos from her hospital bed? Because, of course, the attention-sinking scammer absolutely did that. Oh, hello there, Beezer. Thank you so much for requesting a cameo. As you can see, beep, 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 I'm in the hospital. That means I'm not going to be able to pr produce YouTube content like I know you're used to. Send money now. God, that sounds familiar. No, I'd seriously thought about doing foodie beauty reactions simply for the fucking money. Anyway. Not fun. I don't know. You, you... What is this, MC? Hold on. <laughs> what is this? I gotta see what you just put in chat. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, ma'am. <laughs> Let me see. I gotta share this. Just give me a second here. It's very important. Thank you so much, MC, for stopping the show for this because this is exactly what everybody needs to take a look at. To call what we like to do around here, we like to call Chantel out on her lies. And that wedding piece of shit ring sliding off her finger because she's been puking and shitting so much and now she's a skinny legend is absolutely horseshit. Where is it at? Just talk amongst yourselves for two seconds. <laughs> this is MC's Twitter. You should absolutely be following her at Mary Cab MC. Miriam Cab. That's fucking hilarious. Take a look here. Will you look at this shit? Look at that. You're telling me that this woman was so sick, shitting and puking. That she lost so much weight and so much 
fluids off of her body that this ring right here slid off of her finger in the shower. You know where we stopped that though, MC? We we stopped at the fact that she said that she was taking a shower. We know good and well that's a whole big ass lie, okay? But if we're pushing past that, just the thought of this finger slimming down so much that this piece of shit slid off, get out of my face. Like, why do you even bother saying these types of things? I don't understand. You want us to think that this thing right here, this little gumball, cheap-ass, plastic-ass ring fell off of your finger in the shower. Yeah, sure, Jan. <coughs> God. The lies that Chantel tells. The lies that you tell, girl. Look at her. Look at her pitiful little self. I'm just so sick, Peters. <coughs> in money now <laughs> I need to refeed <laughs> so fucking pathetic let me go back a little bit that's cause I'm like I'm being a skinny queen from the norovirus <laughs> I had to do some cameos from my hospital bed fun times anyway not fun i don't know you, did you guys get the gastro this this year i haven't had that in forever oh my gosh seriously it is the worst man so it feels like a hangover times 10 that's what it feels like ew so yeah i didn't want we fucking wish lisa simpson this motherfucker ain't going nowhere are you kidding me she's not even human Life by gin, my ass. She's not going nowhere. Saltines and ginger ale. Like, I wanted juicy fruit because I was so thirsty. Dude, I've been sick like that. Hey, Manning. I, 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 you only want water. When you get dehydrated like that from having the stomach virus, all you can... I remember dreaming about water. I... Juice, all you want is sweet juice. That you know what that is, ma'am. Mm. That is your uncontrolled type 2 diabetes craving sweet juice when you're dehydrated. I ain't never heard of nothing like that in my whole entire life. Never I had that in forever. Oh my gosh, seriously, it is the worst. I call bullshit. She just has the flu. You think she has a stomach virus? Can you believe that she drove her ass to the hospital as contagious as she is? Because she has, even if it's the norovirus, even if she's being honest about what that is, can you imagine? Of course you can. It's Chantel. She doesn't care who she gets sick. First man. So it feels like a hangover times 10. That's what it feels like. Ew. So yeah, I didn't want so Hey, Nikki P, hun. Saltines and ginger ale. Like, I wanted juicy fruit because I was so thirsty. Juicy fruit because I was so thirsty. That fucking blows me away. Blows me away. I can't believe she did because she needs sympathy. Anyway. My blood sugar's through the roof even though I didn't eat. The doctor's like, well, it's probably be because of the stress of being sick and if you have, like, a virus or infection, you know? Anyway, I just wanted to update you guys. I'm sorry, oh, but I don't know what, what will be going on, how long I'll be here for. Oh, my God, that's a good point, MC. Imagine if it happened on the plane to Kuwait. Holy shit. I think she's doing what she always done. Won't wait for a doctor, but we'll go to the ER and expect them to cure her. Yep, absolutely. In case the doctor's coming. <laughs> yeah, so I keep coming and checking my electrolyte levels, my blood sugar, stuff like that. So okay. I'll keep you guys updated. Sorry. I'll keep you guys posted, okay? For the bad quality video, but... <sighs> Do you remember when she traveled to New York during the COVID pandemic while there was a lockdown? Oh, absolutely. She got so much shit for that. 
How long did she sit there making others sick? That's a good question. I just want to Blood sugar high from the stress. Sure, Jan. Yeah, totally. It's nothing to do with what you put inside your body, with what you consume, whether you're in Kuwait, whether you're in Canada, whether you're in Kuwait, whether you're in Canada. Your habits, as far as eating, are exactly the same. The same. It's not the location that's the problem. It's the person that's the problem. It's not the stress for the reason that your blood sugars are so high. It's because you eat and eat and eat and eat. Holy hell. She lies like a rug. This was the beat us kicking her ass and I'll die on that hill. She got to Canada and binged. Ooh, Dell, probably. You right, girl. Thank you so much for your support. Imagine being a poor nurse and seeing this thing. <laughs> Sleep till this is over. Honestly, it's the worst feeling. I can't even think of food. Yeah, I know you're thinking, well, this is just what you need. <sighs> Maybe. Yeah, my wedding ring fell off in the shower. I'm skinny now. Where's that nose? I know it's here it is. There we go. Let's tap her back. Hey Krabby Joe. Sorry for the bad quality video, but <sighs> I just want to sleep till this is over. Honestly, it's the worst feeling. I can't even think of food. <clears throat> yeah, I know you're thinking, well, this is just what you need. <sighs> Maybe. <clears throat> yeah, my wedding ring fell off in the shower. I'm skinny now. <laughs> I'm definitely not putting any crap in my body after this. And the way I feel. <sighs> I don't think I can tolerate it, honestly. They want me to try to tolerate something before I leave here. So who knows what that will be? I can't. <laughs> Anyways, guys. <laughs> Yay for norovirus. Ew. Have to have my own washroom because it's contaminated from my from me because it's so highly contagious. Because it's so highly contagious. Boy, that won't stop her, will it? Anyway, I'm going to try to rest. Get, get you some rest, cutie. That's what you need, some rest, you poor thing. And, um, I'll just see you guys when I see you, I guess. I don't know. I'll try to update you guys as I can. Um, see you later. Bye. So the end. Oh my gosh. Look, she's giving us, look, look, she's letting us see her bags. Look at this shit ended up having to give me a total of six of these fluid bags for six fluid bags huh wow Chantel for uh, rehydration it was rough hi guys I just wanted to give an update basically on you know I left kind of hanging in the ER so I have been discharged I was discharged in like the middle of the night and I actually feel a lot better today so basically discharged in the middle of the night they said you gotta go girl look you're good you just got a little whatever going on go home get out and don't come back i only see two show of them are your line you're contagious for 14 days really i fainted once and got four liters i felt like she looks hold on snap back just like yeah wicked crafter i agree she looks like she came back to life pretty quickly after all that, huh? Mm -mm -mm. The fugly ass sweater. A uh, wicked crafter. Thank you for your support, hon. Shoot, hold on. Basically, I was just really dehydrated, like a lot. So basically, they gave me like um, a few liters of fluid. Anyways, I've been drinking. I picked up. <laughs> they sized up on our IV bags. Kelly's bathroom studio. Thank you for your support. Some Gatorade, but it's like it's like a healthy Gatorade because when I'm ill Gatorade is like real Gatorade is too artificial for me and that's why I don't like ginger ale either when I'm sick 
So it's actually only got like, I think two or three carbs and one gram of sugar, which is also good for diabetics, you know, and it's made with like real, I think it's like watermelon juice and like, um, salts, like sea salt and like more natural ingredients. There's still a few that are a little iffy, but it's. She was just dehydrated. Maybe I, 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 you know what? I'm leaning more towards that. She had food poisoning. I don't know. Food poisoning and her blood sugar was out of control. But we're never going to know. She's never going to tell the truth. We don't know what she might be telling the truth. It might be this. It might be that. We're not going to know anything because all she does is law. Everything. Yeah, look how skinny she is. Look at that ring. For the most part, they're very, uh, they're a lot more natural, let's just say. So I was just charged in the middle of the night, which, um, you know, they asked me if I was okay. And I said, yeah, I can drive. <laughs> That's about it. Today, I'm feeling a lot better. That lets you know that her family didn't take her to the hospital and good for them. Good for them. I think the hydration really helped. And honestly, I was, um, I'm, I'm really craving like pickle juice, which also is apparently good for like electrolyte replenishment. Uh, because of the high sodium content but like I was just like craving going into like you know a Canadian grocery store like no frills and just grabbing like it's just so weird how she's out and about I'm assuming all this just happened I'm assuming she just recently was discharged from the from the hospital like we're not talking about days or weeks like it's like the next day I think it doesn't somebody who's normally that sick I mean even if you're just recovering from food poisoning or recovering from the the stomach virus or whatever don't you normally just like lay up and kind of take it easy and you're not out and about and going out places it's so weird to see her and look how bad she looks look how swollen her eyes are like are y'all looking at this like she looks really fucking bad i know she has looked bad for a while but i mean wow just how swollen her eyes are right here Gary pepperoni i'm with you the video made zero sense. Thank you for being a member for seven months. I appreciate you, girl. I, I'm confused by it all. I really am. Which also like you get out of the hospital for what you claim is the norovirus. They send you home in the middle of the night. Now it's I'm assuming the next day in the morning. I can only assume. And you're talking about craving pickle juice. It's just so weird. All of it is so weird. She's probably still contagious. Absolutely. 100%. Very contagious. The last time I had the stomach virus, I felt like shit for days. Your stomach is delicate and you feel run down. You absolutely do. It takes some time to recover. So is The last thing you're going to want to do unless you absolutely have to is go out driving. Going into a store buying fucking pickle juice. Oh, she sure did. She she had to refeed as soon as possible, Manning. As soon as she could go out and get to a, a, a drive-thru, that's exactly what she did. Especially, you know how we talk about um, when she's in Kuwait and how she's always feeling panicked because she's going to start her diet the next day so she eats even more? I feel like the scenario for that now in Canada with her going back to Kuwait or trying to go back to Kuwait is that she feels like she needs to hit up as many drive throughs and go to as many restaurants as she possibly can before she goes back to Kuwait because she's going to be limited when she gets back there. So she wants to have the full experience and just overindulge in all these fast food restaurants and all these regular restaurants and all this food while she's in Canada and she has this freedom. So, yeah, it's very, very possible that she ate herself sick into the emergency room. It's very possible that this has to do with her her blood sugars more than, you know, necessarily a stomach virus or whatever she's saying she's having. She is dead set on going back to Kuwait. She knows, like, she's going to be there for a while. She's going to take full advantage of all the drive throughs everything that she has, all her freedom while she's there, and just eat around the clock, around the clock, around the constantly, constantly, constantly. Hell yeah, you put that kind of shit in your body, you're going to be sick. You're going to end up in an ER room. Apparently good for like electrolyte replenishment uh, because of the high sodium content. But like I was just like craving going into like, you know, a Canadian grocery store, like no frills and just grabbing like no name brand big jar. That don't even make sense. If you're recovering from what you claim that you had in the hospital, 
You're not even going to feel like leaving your house. You're not going to be craving pickle juice. And if you are, by chance, craving pickle juice, you're going to have that shit Ubered to your house or ask your mom to pick that up. You're just not going to bounce back that quick. How many days later is this? Her stomach can handle a lot. This has got to be like the next day. There's no way. You don't just bounce back like that. Apparently good for like electrolyte replenishment uh, because of the high sodium content. But like I was just like craving going into like, you know, a Canadian grocery store, like no frills and just grabbing like no name brand big jar of dill pickles and just downing the juice. Like having an emergency jar of pickles in my bag. That's not a bad idea. Anyway, I should start a pickle company. Who am I kidding? I can't even get up before noon on a good day or before three. Well, sometimes, yes. I've been sleeping a lot, like for days. I've just been resting in that because this flu just makes you feel like you've been hit by a mock truck. Like 18. You, you do that anyways. You tell us you do that anyways. How is you having the flu any different than any other day of your life? Um, she lies so much. Pedialyte is the best thing for dehydration. She's so stupid. Wheeler. So yeah, fun, fun. Anyway, um, I'm sticking around for a little while because I had some plans that were like, you know what? Let me go back. Let's see where are we at. We're at eleven fifteen. Let me go back to to her in the hospital bed because she said that they released her through the night. Okay, that's what that's what her story is. She's got the same thing, which is so gross. You were at the hospital. You had this virus. You're laying in a hospital bed. You've been sick as a dog. This is what she's, she wants us to believe anyways, right? You see what she's got on here. You see the thing around her head. You go back to the, to the video to where it's, I, I don't know when, because she says she gets released through the night and the sun is obviously out shining. So according to her, she's been released for some time. Let me just start where she she's in a car and listen to this shit again, because she's got the same thing on in the car that she had on in the hospital. The only thing different is she's got this hoodie over top of it. That's it. See, it's all the same. I, I don't know if this is her abaya or whatever, but the, the head covering, that cream head covering, the black abaya, I think, is the same shit that she has on in this video where she's talking in her car. I want to see if she gives like a, and I missed it, like a time breakdown. You know what else is good for dehydration? Water, dumbass. Who craves pickle juice? She's slow, slow, but take one more sodium, cutie. Exactly. Half more sodium, big girl. You're not swollen enough yet. Thank you for your support, Chuck. I just added that one for you at the end. <laughs> She's a skinny queen and Scott Law is rich. That's right, Hershey Squirt Pondu. Thank you for being a member for 13 months. Hi, guys. I just wanted to give an update, basically, on... Okay, so you're giving us an update. It's obvious that you have the same exact thing that you had on in the hospital, which, if you have been home and you've been to bed, it's kind of fucking gross that you've got it back on. It's nasty. You know... I left you kind of hanging in the ER, so I have been discharged. I was discharged in, like, the middle of the night. So she's discharged in the middle of the night. The sun is out. It is shining. It looks like it's early morning. Does anybody else picking that up, that it's early in the morning right now when she's filming this video? By the way, the background looks. What do you guys think? Um, That looks like antibiotics, not just fluids that she was receiving. What Kyle say? Uh, Google says recovery depends on the health of your immune system. Well, her thumbnail says she spent a day at the hospital. My guess is this is hours later. That's the sunrise. That's what I thought too. We know that Chantel doesn't get up early in the morning. So there's definitely something sus up with the time that she says she gets released from the hospital and the time that she's out in a boot in the, uh, Canadian pasture over there. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Right after sunrise. That's what me thinks too. And I actually feel a lot better today. So basically I was just really dehydrated 
like a lot so basically they gave me like um a few liters of fluid anyways i've been drinking i picked up some gatorade but it's like it's like a healthy gatorade because when i'm ill gatorade is so she got out of the hospital and went to the store and picked up some gatorade nah now you're not doing that dude nobody's doing that kind of shit some gatorade but it's like it's like a few liters so basically they gave me like can we go back and look at the IV pole? There's something else on there. Yes, we'll go back and look at the IV. Like, uh, I mean, the prayer candles worked, you know? We all had it set up to watch uh, Amber Lynn today, but now look at us go. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. Where are we at? We'll find it. It's at the beginning. Let's see. I'm scrolling through, trying to get a good shot. I don't know. I can't see anything, but again, that's just me. Let's see. If we can get another one. I can't believe people actually record this shit, put it in their videos. Like, how pathetic. Can anybody see that shit? Really, really dehydrated like a lot. <laughs> Is there a time on the blood pressure machine? Hold on. Girl, I don't know. How are y'all seeing any of that? Let me see if I can zoom in. I can't see nothing but the 94, the 02, the 7, the 95, the 19, 109 uh, over 69, and the 82 on the side. I can't see shit else, and I definitely can't see shit else on those bags. I don't know. This is the most content she's had in forever. It's all about content to this gunt. <laughs> oh, really, Jinx's journey. Okay. Hospitals discharge all hours, but they are going to have you rest through the night and discharge morning once doctors come through. Doctors have to discharge. That's how it is over here in the United States, hell, but I don't know about Canada. I guess just throw motherfuckers out don't matter when. The handwriting seems maybe Kimbalina. The YouTube doctors are here. It's great. I love this shit. It's like we're playing detective. I love to play detective. All right, back to you, Chantel. I want to talk more about the sunrise. What did you do all night? You got discharged through the night, and here it is. The sun's coming up. Where have you been? Mm. Where have you been at, ma'am? Mrs. Ma'am, if you got discharged through the night, that's what you said. They just discharged you through the night and sent you home. And then you went after being sick all night with the norovirus, stopped and got you some Gatorade. Well, you've been driving around Canada, hitting up drive throughs Where you been at? I just wanted to give an update basically on... Hey, Brienne, good to see you, hun. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to read a comment because it's important. I'm not going to lie, I had the same virus as her last week and I pooped my pants in the hospital. <laughs> That's so sad. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, look, shit happens, right? Which is a great point. So how do you think that Chantel made it to the hospital without shitting, shitting her uh, pants? Welfare bound underground. Oh, look who it is. It's fucking, uh, what's their name? The dildo. You've lost your touch. You are boring now, Yabba. Oh, that's just so sad. Thank you so much for your money, you cheap fuck. You're 279 Canadian dildo. You freak. No, it's not Ron. It's some fucking stalker from Canada with a screen name called the dildo. I can't remember her real name. Shit literally happens. It really does. You know, I left you kind of hanging in the ER, so. So does she get a hotel in New York or is she back in Canada? Where was she in the hospital at? Are you telling me she went to the hospital in New York? Is that what you're saying? Her story is bullshit. Well, I have been discharged. I was discharged in like the middle of the night. And I actually feel a lot better today. So basically I was just really dehydrated. Like a lot. So basically they gave me like um a few liters of fluid anyways i've been drinking i picked up some gatorade but it's like it's like a healthy gatorade because when i'm ill gatorade is like real gatorade is too artificial for me and that's why i don't like ginger ale either one it's a deflection for the scamming she says nothing about returning the money are you going to talk about that 
how you got everybody hyped up, all your Beezers hyped up, talking about you were going to get an apartment in Canada, and that if people wanted to donate to that cause, then they could just send you money through PayPal. And then the next day you were like, you know what, never mind, screw all that, I'm going back to Kuwait. And you're supposed to be returning money, and you're not even talking about that. Now you're sick. Oh, poor cutie. She's been sick. She's dehydrated, guys. She said put pickle juice in her bag, so she's heading back to Kuwait with the, yeah. Very possible. Stay in your lane. Thank you for your support. I think she's not going back to Kuwait until payday. Mm-hmm. I think it'll be payday. You love ginger ale? I love ginger ale, too. Oh, C. diff. Yeah, she has C. diff, too. The dildo is Monica Pilgrim. Yes. I'm sick. So it's actually only got like, I think two or three carbs and one gram of sugar, which is also good for diabetics, you know, and it's like, with, like real, I think it's like watermelon juice and like, um, salts, like sea salt and like more natural ingredients. There's still a few that are a little iffy, but it's for the most part, they're very, uh, they're a lot more natural. Let's just say. So I was just charged in the middle of the night, which, um, you know, they asked me if I was okay. And I said, yeah, I can drive. <laughs> That's about it. Today I'm feeling a lot better. I think the hydration really helped. And honestly, I was, um, I'm, I'm really craving like pickle juice, which also is apparently good for like, <laughs> she shits herself. Thank you for the support. They just try to, it's, it's the fucking grift gang. They think if they say it enough, it's going to become true. They're fucking weird, dude. Weird and pathetic and rejected. To like replenishment uh, because of the high sodium content. But like I was just like craving going into like, you know, a Canadian grocery store, like no frills and just grabbing like no name brand, big jar of dill pickles and just downing the juice. Like having an emergency jar of pickles in my bag. That's not a bad idea. Anyway, I should start a pickle company. Who am I kidding? I can't even get up. When Nikki say she ain't traveling back, yeah. Nikki, I think she's not traveling back until payday. I think she'll wait till she gets paid and then she'll get a ticket and go back. <laughs> Skinny queen. Before noon on a good day or before three. Well, sometimes, yes. I've been sleeping a lot, like for days. I've just been resting in that because this flu just makes you feel like you've been hit by a mock truck, like 18 wheeler. So, yeah, fun, fun. Anyway. Um, I'm sticking around for a little while because I had some. It's amazing that she's worried that Gatorade will be too artificial after eating Arby's and poutine and garbage since she's been on. Yeah. You know what, Kat? Thank you for your support. I mean, her whole existence is based off of absolute trash that she doesn't give a fuck about putting into her body. She's just saying anything at this point. She's saying anything. She's deflecting from the scam that she just ran. All the money that she just collected for her move to Canada, which is not obviously happening now and never was going to happen, if you want to be real honest about it. And so she's just saying anything, literally anything that comes to mind is just like word vomit coming out of her mouth. When she goes back, she will be in a different apartment calling it now. You don't think they'll have the deluxe fart box? Every time she goes back, some shit's different, right? I can believe that. Plans that were like. If that's the case, if you're right about that, thank Fupa, it's definitely going to be a downgrade. It'll be a smaller apartment and it definitely is not going to be seaside. Pre booked with like, you know, um, friends and family. Yeah, I have friends. You guys are always shocked by that. I don't have many, but. <laughs> I missed that. Hold on. Anyway, um,. I'm sticking around for a little while because I had some plans that were like pre-booked. With because your family said, no, we're not paying for you a ticket to go back to Kuwait. Use your own money. Salah has no money to send you. He's not going to send you your own money. You have to wait until the next YouTube paycheck. That's why your ass is not hopping immediately on a plane back to Kuwait because you financially cannot afford to. That's why. So, yeah, fun, fun. Anyway, um, I'm sticking around for a little while because I had some plans that were like pre-booked with like, you know, um, like you would care about any plans that you had with your family or friends that you don't have. Are you kidding me? You want me to believe now that all of a sudden 
Chantel is sticking around Canada because she wants to spend time with friends and family. Is she? Does she hear herself right now? You abs. That's an absolute lie, ma'am. Where's the nose? It's coming back. It's coming back. Look at that. Lies from the pit of hell. There. That looks about right. What do you think? You scoot over a little bit more. Maybe a little bit. Where's it at? Shit. Yeah, that's better. Now just sit still while you lie to us, okay? You keep moving. I'm going to have to move the nose. I feel like you've been hit by a mock truck, like 18-wheeler. So, yeah. Fun, fun. Anyway. Um, exactly, Manning. Great point. If she did anything with friends, she would vlog it. Your life is so boring and you have nobody in it that you have to film yourself at a hospital because you're shitting and puking everywhere. Oh, God, this is so sick. You'll film that, but you won't film yourself out with your friends. Oh, because privacy. Get out of my face, Chantel. I'm sticking around for a little while because I had some plans that were, like, pre-booked with, like, you know, um, friends and family. Yeah, I have friends. You guys are always shocked by that. I don't have many, but <laughs> actually I do have a lot. I just don't keep in touch with a lot of them. So, yeah. But uh, I have some things to take care of, some medical appointments and things like that. So, um, I will probably like do some live streams. I'm not sure, but I'll do some more videos for you guys, more vlogs. But I pre recorded content, just like Butter Crumpet said in the chat. Until you feel like you're safe enough that people have forgotten about the little scam that you just ran, huh, Chantel? I'm still going back to Kuwait. And um, so I'm just like really good. Good. Go back to Kuwait. Kuwait is everything that you deserve, ma'am. Everything. You know what? Mm -mm. <laughs> I got a tap her in her freaking Pinocchio nose. Mm, just like that. Do I sound like Peanut when I do that? I bet I do. People are like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? I'm trying to, you know, bop Chantel in her nose. That's what I'm doing. Don't worry, guys. I'm good. Changing my life right now, basically. And I'm just so My microphone is fine, okay? Overwhelmed. And just having the personal space, like not uploading as frequently is like really helping. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate you guys. That patience. was a good one, wasn't it? My microphone is fine. Since I know a lot of you <laughs> look forward to and depend on my videos. I depend on my videos. A lot of you depend on my videos. Da, 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 da. You depend on your videos, woman. Oh my gosh. Uh, my other account is still banned on here from the link fiasco. I think she went to the hospital for a complication of unmanaged betas. Like keto, ketoacidosis, whatever that is. Karina, I'm so sorry about that, hun. That's a whole fucking mess. I couldn't even find you in the block list, but there's a lot of people in there, if I'm going to be honest. Thank you so much for your support. Well, at least you're here with us now. Grunt, 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 grunt. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, I'll be back whenever I can. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Masalama. Gosh. All of that. Because you are shitting and puking yourself, Chantel. Because again, once again, you cannot control yourself while in Canada or in Kuwait. What do you mean, butters? I sound like more like butters. What the fuck does uh, butter sound like? <laughs> Mic drop on the nod. It's fucking crazy. P nod. C diff. You think she's there for diabetes and C diff complications? Can you imagine going to the whole ass hospital? Because you got the stomach virus and you you have C. diff. You've been diagnosed with C. diff. And nobody told her that you should probably just, you know, stay home. I'll be back when I need more money. <laughs> she needs money now. She's done fucked herself so bad. As far as her YouTube coin is concerned. That, that little scam that she ran with the PayPal donations for her new place in Canada... It, it probably didn't even put a dent in the money that she's losing from the ban that she got and the break that she took at all. Her teeth are gross. She wants to talk about packing pickle juice. You need to pack a toothbrush.
New York on Monday, hospital on Tuesday, uploading Wednesday morning. It's Thursday. How stupid does she think we are? Cool. Thank you so much for being a member for 15 months. Well, there's the breakdown of that. Uh, Anastasia, that was a prior hospital visit she's using now for sympathy. What, you think like pre-recorded? Pre-recorded? Maybe, I suppose. Did she get lots of super chat from that live from the hospital? Chubby Bear, what live? That was a pre-recorded video. I know you're talking about staying in your lane. Butter from South Park. I, I know that. Did y'all see the pics of teenage Chantel from Piggy's video? No, I've seen that Piggy did a retro video. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Oh, God. Shall we watch that? Are people going to say some stuff? Is that fucking weirdo still live? That girl has been live like around the clock. The Queen Cobra lady? There's a microwave of what? Like, what is that? Cauliflower? What's going on here? Nothing? Did she fall asleep? Is she out? What is this? JFS. Going to bed. Have a good night. She went to sleep with her live stream one? Wow. Sweet dreams. And uh, what would I rate what would I rate that? I would rate it a fucking A plus. I, what watch this? Nah. You never know what this woman's gonna say. I heard some clips the other day and I was like, holy fuck. How does that woman still have teeth in her mouth? Bata bees. Heather X says food poisoning from a Chinese buffet. Say it ain't so. You hear that, babe? We're getting rid of the Chinese buffet. Sorry uh, to hurt your feelings there. Thank you, Heather, for being a member for 31 months, girl. Desirable death fat. Foodie is running weed. <laughs> allegedly. We're going to go ahead and say allegedly there, okay? Foodie is allegedly running weed between Canada and Kuwait for Salah. That's why Salah puts up with her and why they have so much money despite her channel tanking. Salah needs to put a, needs a mule with, with a Canada passport. Listen, that's a good theory. I ain't heard that one before, Dee Dee. But that is a great theory. Don't do now. She's too weird for me. I was just seeing what the fuck she was doing because I know she's been live forever. God hates you. <laughs> hey, Kalari. Good to see you, hun. Sorry I'm late and missed yesterday. Pulled a muscle in my lower back but doing better. So the Griftopotamus is trying to salvage her reputation. It'll never happen, and I'm glad you're feeling better, girl. Hang in there. Thank you for the support. Y'all think that she's running? Because she's running drugs. <laughs> for so long, Kuwait. That shit is so funny. Could you imagine her getting popped? Do you know that like she would do big girl time? Holy shit. All right, I see Skinny Queen. I see Marley Hendrix, Barbecue Chicken. Who else? Where's Piggy? Sansa Cooks. What's Sansa do? Foodie Beauties ERBs. Mm, there's Foodie Be Beauty. There's Dank Fupa. There's Bottle. Bottle's pretty fucking funny. Bottle does Amber Lynn content. Oh, here's Piggy. These are all my subscriptions, by the way. It's great. <laughs> My whole fucking front page is an absolute gem. Let's watch Piggy's video. Holy shit. Can we watch this? Are we going to get in trouble for watching it? I mean, we're good. We're all good. Like these pictures have been posted before. I don't want to hear no shit. Like I can't believe. Remember how they fucking. They like to twist shit. Let me put. Let me pin it. Let me pin Piggy's video. Yeah, we're going to watch Amberlynn read. We're going to get to it. What do you want from me? I'm just. I'm obsessed. It's true. I can't get enough. I think Salah can get his hands on hash. I love the Girl World clip channels. Me too. Uh, all right, let's watch it. Foodie Beauty Subway Mukbang seven years ago to the day. Is that the one y'all are talking about? This is just an old mukbang. Oh, I see the pictures in the video. Okay, what time is it? Okay, we got time to watch this and watch Amberlynn's newest video. Well, there's actually two of Amberlynn's I want to catch up on. 
Okay, okay, let's get through this. Okay, this is seven years ago. Holy shit. Replay gang here, but it sounds more like a sugar crash to me. <clears throat> the both in blowout would happen to me a lot when I had high blood sugar. You puke in shit, huh? Damn. That's crazy. Hi. Hello, foodie booties. I mean, really honestly, and I'm not trying to be nasty, but just thinking about Chantel having some kind of stomach problem to where she's shitting and puking. And, and let's say this happened. Let, like, let's cre create a whole scenario. We're really good at that, okay? So Chantel's staying at Schmee's, right? <clears throat> I don't know the layout situation. I've never, I don't even know if that's a thing, okay? But uh, I don't know how many bathrooms are in Schmee's home. I'm, I'm assuming that maybe Chantel's like, hopefully using a guest bathroom and there's more than one bathroom and like that's going to be really bad if they're uh, all using the one bathroom right but let's just give them the benefit of the doubt that there's two bathrooms and and cuties using the guest bathroom okay so much space for activities it's true and she wakes up and she's like she wakes up in the middle of the night she's like oh my god oh my god like you if you've ever had the stomach virus, that's usually how it happens. And all of a sudden you're like, I think I'm gonna puke. I think I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna I gotta poop. I don't know what's going on. And so like you gotta imagine this going on with Chantel. And like there's so much, so much is there. Like, cause you gotta move quick. You don't even have time to think. You just gotta go, bitch, go. You know what I mean? So you can you imagine Chantel in a situation like that to where she's gotta go, bitch, go. And she is not in a situation to go, bitch, go. So that's where things get kind of like, okay, well, if this if this is all true, did she make it to the bathroom? And if she did not make it to the bathroom, because you're talking about like the first time is like going to be the worst. That's when it's all coming out. It's all coming out. Who cleaned that up? And, it, and it's contagious at that. Like, do you think what? That Chantel took the time after being so sick? shitting and puking that she stopped to clean up the puke and the shit that she got everywhere <clears throat> there's a very big possibility a very big possibility that that happened she shit herself on the plane i think she shit herself on the plane too and i think <clears throat> she shit herself on the way to the hospital absolutely she drove herself to the hospital yeah Oh, man, never mind. I don't want to smell that key. I changed my mind. I'm out. I'm tapping all the way out. Fuck that. It's difficult having an obese patient with diarrhea to keep them clean. That's fucked up, man. That's so fucked up, dude. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I've seen so many. I'm sure she's mad that the stepdad didn't install her dainty bidet in time. Yeah, and that's what I mean. Like, she didn't put her bidet in. Her family didn't install the bidet for Chantel. And she can we know she cannot reach to wipe. So there's a whole lot going on there that we really don't want to talk about, but we're kind of talking about, you know what I mean? It's crazy. I don't know how I can survive the virus talk. Me neither, man. It's a lot. God. Subway mukbangs going around. What I got was the my favorite. One of my favorites. <laughs> I like this in the cold cut. So Italian BMT. And uh, I think, I don't know what, uh, what BMT stands for. And uh, what did I get on my sub? Yeah. So I have like Italian meats, I think pepperoni, ham, and salami. I got southwest sauce, lettuce, olives, black olives, they don't have green ones. And a cinnamon, green peppers, and salt pepper, a bit of mayo, and some onions, some red onions. And I have some Doritos. Let's eat. So I wanted to talk about um, this whole thing with YouTube. What's going on with YouTube? Someone commented. Someone commented, you know, what are your thoughts on the whole situation with YouTube's new rules? So I, I did a bit of research, more research, because I heard vaguely about it, but I wasn't sure of all the details. YouTube is demonetizing videos? Big advertisers have pulled out of YouTube. And I'm not sure why. Maybe because of offensive content. So that's why they're demonetizing fake news sites. <laughs> do they have the right to do that? Absolutely. Does it suck? Absolutely. But YouTube has to be careful as well because a lot of their big players, there might be another platform that opens up other than YouTube and people are like, you know what? They're disgruntled with YouTube. They have a bad taste because of that and they're going to move on. So story time. <laughs> so 
So I know I've been uploading a lot, and I don't have, I mean, we have to eat every day, right? Figure wife. <laughs> it's like impossible for me to eat alone. Dad, Jesus. I'm a very good vegan cook, and I lost a lot of weight, and I felt great. And you're thinking, well, why would you ever? Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Maybe um, someday I'll get back to that when I'm good and ready and have things, you know, or more organized in my life and whatever. One of the biggest things that happened to me in my life, which experience rich opportunities, was going away on this Katimovic adventure, government funded program. Youth get to travel around Canada between the ages of 17 and 21. And you, it's a youth volunteer program. And oh my gosh, you live with 12 other youths and a group leader. It gives you an opportunity to see your country, figure out what you want to do. This story involves one of my last placements. We go to wow, we did that, three different placements. Through that program really worked, didn't it? Definitely paid off, huh? <laughs> three months each. My last placement was in Emerald, PEI, Prince Edward Island. Such a beautiful coastal province. <clears throat> there was a bike path that went from Emerald to Brit Albin, which is where I did my placement. <laughs> and I could have chose a cushy office job. Stop it, Roxy, stop. Because when I was there, I wasn't that big. I was maybe 40, 50 pounds overweight. <laughs> what? No C. diff sniff? Ha ha. Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely not. I gotta draw... I gotta draw the line there. Are you fucking kidding me? No way, dude. Uh-uh. So let's thank you for your support. Is this little Gunther? <laughs> Fuck. They're gonna get me so bad for this. Back then, I was a little chubby. And I didn't ask for this, okay? This was a request in the uh, chat. And I was, you know, in shape and whatever. But I decided I wanted to do something out of my comfort zone. I was encouraged to do that there. So I took a job, volunteer placement, during the summer, so it was hot, creating brush mats and doing environmental, like brush mats are these, like you cut down tree branches and you place them along riverbanks. What was interesting about that was who we were working for. It was like this mad scientist, crazy guy. He was eccentric, like really eccentric. Anyway, he was a nice guy, very generous. And we worked for him. So there was a guy who all the girls thought was hot. He was in med school. He was good looking, but he was a jerk. He used to like make fun of me <laughs> for being chubby. Then there was this other guy who was also mean. I don't know why. No joke, probably about 600 pounds. Who was mean to everybody. Who would just stand there. The nerve of her. No joke, like 600 pounds. That's what we say about you. Trying to cut down branches like randomly, but he would get out of breath easy. Hey, <laughs> Megan Fox. It was tough work. I'm not going to lie. I split my finger open. I don't know if you can see the scar. Wow. So my story is about this party that this mad scientist Phil guy did. Oh my God, the food spread was amazing. Anyway, we had an oyster bar. There was a bar, an outside bar, where I parked myself most of the night. <laughs> I, every, I was so drunk. It was the best feeling. I'm not pausing through the baby Chantel pictures. No fucking way, dude. Partying with the 12 people you're really close to in the middle of summer, in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> and then I remember they're like, try an oyster. And I remember them opening the oyster shell. And I was trying to look at it. And I, I don't know if it was because I was so drunk, but it was like moving. And I couldn't do it. I sat at the bar most of the time. It was such a fun night. Like, so fun. I actually don't even remember a lot of what other happened. Then it came time to go home. As tipsy as I was, my judge judgment was poor. I just started to start walking. And I had to walk the path that I would have made every day to work. It was a pitch dark. I could barely see in front of me. Random people from the party were driving. And they saw me and they're like, hey, where are you at the party? I don't remember them, but they remembered me apparently. And I'm like, yeah. And they drove me home. They drove me home. Probably not smart getting in the car with strangers, but it was that or get murdered on a dark bike path. <laughs> I chose the one that involved less exercise. <laughs> Interesting things during oh those seven gosh. months. She was so proud of those pictures. I remember that one. She has showed that more than once. <laughs> There's BB. <laughs> BB, you video bombed us, BB. That's how I talked to him too, though. Hi, BB. Yes. I just ate a 12 inch. <sighs> That's it. She, does. she didn't eat it. She demolished that motherfucker. I love the piggy filter, too. It's great. Thank you so much for that, piggy. That was awesome. All right, let's pivot. Let's pivot over to Amberlynn. I was checking in with Amberlynn last night and this morning. I'm torn on where I want to start at because her, her most recent video is kind of... I want to start there because she does a little confession there. Um, for those of you, I know not everybody follows along with Amberlynn, but for those of you who do and or check in every so often she claims that she's down to four i'll just go ahead and spoil her right she claims she's down to 488 pounds i I've, i feel like the last time that we checked in on amberlynn she was around like 5 30 5 20 something like that okay but present day um let me get it pulled up she's claiming that she's down to 488 this wasn't her way in video but it was like the oh, one right before this filmed. shut up amber do you all believe now seeing her 
in this video, I haven't checked in with her. It's been it's been the last time probably since we watched together. It's been some months. I mean, you you're talking about what? Like 30 pounds uh, if I recall. You you would think that you would be you, if you haven't watched somebody in a while and you turn in and tune in or whatever and they've lost 20, 25, 30 pounds, whatever that she's lost that you would be like, "Wow. I can really see that." And I can definitely see that in in, in her face. And I know people have always speculated that Amber lies about her weigh-ins, but I've always been on the opposite end of that. I've always been like, I don't think, I don't think Amber's like Chantel as far as lying about her weigh-ins. But seeing her in this video, and then I'm looking at her, and I'm like, your head looks big as it, big as ever. Like it's it's huge. Like her her head. And I remember the last time we watched her videos like that. Again, we were talking about how huge her head was. Like not to be mean or rude or anything. I'm just saying. You know, B says that she's on the Ozempic. Did she confess to being on the Ozempic or is that just uh, a guess? Destiny is so gross. She lies a lot. However, she could be believed if you never watched. Oh, that's true. She lies about everything. I don't know. For some reason, I just, I don't, I never really thought that Amberlynn was lying about her weigh-ins. But again, I've never been confused fully committed to Amber like I have been Chantel every little detail or whatever you're like I got into Amberlynn at the beginning and then when Chantel came along for whatever reason like Chantel just ticked every box for me I would check in every so often but again she's wearing clothes from when she was bed bound really Lindsay okay so anyways let's watch let's follow along and then we're gonna backtrack like a video or two to uh because she kind of talks about her what is it, Trader Joe's or whatever, the halls, and that's what gets her off track. She's a whole fucking mess over there, okay? Her mess is different than Chantel's, but nonetheless, still a mess. Still the same shit that she's been putting out on her YouTube channel for like 10 years. Delusional. Delusional, like there is no fucking delusion. Like she's barely under Chantel with her delusion. Barely. My guy friend is buff, but he has a big head. I've never seen a head the size of uh, Amberlynn's. Never, ever, 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 ever. Like, it's it's really something. It is really a trophy, okay? I made a huge mistake. Let's go to Walmart, Olive Garden, and the casino vlog. She's got 608 thumbs up and 2.8 thousand thumbs down. 24,194 views 19 hours ago and 844 comments. Let's go over some of her comments, shall we? <clears throat> There's a troll by the name of Taco Bell mukbang request. When mukbang question mark. Let's see. Why is she so boring yet so entertaining at the same time? We feel the same girl. Does anyone else get annoyed, slightly weirded out when she sticks her tongue out before eating? Um, so many people are asking about your cameo. Right, right. <laughs> I thought the cheat day was executed in a way whereby it would cause a spiral. Laughing my ass off. Are you sure the coloring book was for the niece? Let's watch. Let's watch and then go over the comments. Welcome to a new Because you haven't watched, you're not going to get it. Let me turn it up. Here we go vlog so i actually wasn't even gonna vlog today but i also didn't even vlog yesterday i went out i hung with my mom but i also filmed and posted three tiktoks which i'll show you guys right here but not without the sound because i don't want to get copyrighted the, into the reaction these show. tiktoks are something else isn't it Kristen that puts them up on the uh on the twitter over there I, a lot of people do but i think i see these through Kristen, and i'm like just holy shit like she is really trying her hardest to bring in a new audience from the tiktok not only bring in new people to her youtube but also get her TikTok off the ground the same way that she, and she knows what works. Like she knows the formula for this shit for social media. She knows people love a train wreck. They'll never admit that. They want everybody else to think that, oh, they're the best thing ever. And it's their personality that is what gets people to watch. But they know what it is at the end of the day is that they're fucking train wrecks. Like this is not what you see every day. And you're like, holy shit, there's like a 600 pound woman out here twirling around. Let me subscribe. She knows the formula. She knows what works and she's trying to build that tiktok up girl i see you do you boo that's where reacting i don't want them to get copyrighted either because that would suck for all of us now wouldn't it anyways i've just been having like so much fun notice like in her tiktoks how she's putting her full body like in her youtube video she's kind of stopped doing that like every so often you'll get a glimpse 
of the full body footage, but she's really stopped doing that. And that's what, like, she was known for in the early YouTube days is, like, you would get it all. Like, you would, and it's, like, remember when she'd go to, like, the lake and shit like that, and you're sitting there and you're trying to take all that shit. You're like, what the fuck, bro? Like, wow. And now, like, you really just get, like, neck up footage from Amber Lynn, so it's not a, as exciting as it once was before when she was doing all that. But that's how she's bringing her audience in on the TikTok because she's doing the full body shit. The same shit that got her channel off the ground. Back on YouTube. How much longer before she's mukbanging on the TikTok? And she might already be doing that. I'm not sure. She's using a strong white filter, probably. On, on the good old TikTok, I do go through phases where I stop posting on there and then I start again. Speaking of posting on places, a lot of people are contacting me about opening up my Cameo again. I haven't done Cameo. I don't know. I feel like it's been like over a year and I still have it in my description. Yeah, I don't believe that. I don't think that you're getting flooded with messages talking about, hey, Amberlynn. When are you going to start your cameo? You know, your girl, your sister, your Kuwaiti sister over there, Foodie Beauty. She's totally got the cameo going. Can we get one from you too? I'm starting like a collection of cameos and I've got my Foodie Beauty one. I just want to know, when are you going to start yours back up? I'm sure she is getting flooded with, with such messages. So yeah, I'm thinking about opening it again because so many people are asking. So it's like, seems like it's a hot thing that people want to uh, have me do, which I love doing it. But for some reason, it takes so much energy because I want to do the right thing and say the right thing because you guys are paying. You mean effort. <laughs> you mean effort. You've actually got to put effort into it. You can't just pick up a video and just word vomit all throughout it. Like you've really actually got to put a little bit of effort, get the person's name right, say the shit that they want you. Oh, it's your fucking birthday. Happy birthday, motherfucker. Um... Lori, hey, congratulations on your new fucking job, you loser. Thank you so much for your cameo purchase. Like, yeah, it takes effort, right? We get it. For me to Cannot be bothered. Speak to you. So when I realized I like was starting to go through like a depression, I just like turned my cameo off and I was like, you know what? I need to take a step back because I don't want to be all like depressed in my like, cameos because it just. It when are they not depressed? When? I mean, who is who wouldn't be depressed? If I was fucking 600 pounds, I'd be depressed too. I'd have the uncontrolled type two depression as well. And they want to think like it's something deeper. It's childhood trauma. Go, go, come have a seat. Tell me about foster care. Let's work you through this. And like she's went through this shit. She's went through the the um, the the therapy and she's done all kinds of shit to, for her depression and her mental illness and everything. But she really never gets down to the root cause. And the root cause is being 600 fucking pounds. You don't believe me? Go fucking gain 500 fucking pounds, motherfuckers, and see how happy you are in life. It's all, I mean, no death fat is going to say that they're happy in life and that they don't suffer from depression. You know, and I'm not saying that maybe, I'm, of course, yeah, it's a possibility that people suffer with, suffer with depression, which causes them to eat and then they get bigger and then they have worse depression. I'm just saying hand in motherfucking hand, okay? It didn't add up for me. And then ever since then, like, I have not started it again. So I'm did, she, did she say $60? I'm so sorry. Did I miss that? Did she say that? See, my big mouth. My big mouth do be getting in the way sometimes. Let me go ahead and shut up. And I start again. Speaking of posting on places, a lot of people are contacting me about opening up my cameo again. I just can't help myself. <laughs> all right, all right. Back to you. And I haven't done cameo. I don't know. I feel like it's been like over a year and I still have it in my description. So yeah, I'm thinking about opening it again because so many people are asking. So it's like, seems like it's a hot thing that people want to uh, have me do, which I love doing it. But for some reason, it takes so much energy because I want to do the right thing and say the right thing because you guys are paying for me to speak to you. So when I realized I like was starting to go through like a depression, I just like turned my cameo off and I was like, you know what? I need to take a step back because I don't want to be all like depressed in my cameos because it just, it didn't add up for me. And then ever since then, like I have not started it again. So I'm thinking about it. I hear you guys and I know it's greatly requested. So where'd the $60 come from? Is that a number you all are throwing out there? Is that what she used to charge for her cameos? Who the fuck does she think she is? Barbara fucking Walters? Are you kidding me? Somebody in chat said that's what she charges. $60. Get out of here. That's celebrity prices. You've got to be like known on a huge level to be charging some $60 for a cameo. Carrying around three adults on my back and no thank you. Excess body fat and obesity increases mental health issues like depression. Fucks with everything, hormones included. Big facts, Lindsay. Thank you so much. I got to get one of these programs where I can pin comments up. I don't like the freaking um, stream yards bullshit. I don't work well with it. It just doesn't, I don't have enough control. So I'm going to have to look for some kind of add-on because that was what we call around here a banger, Lindsay, for sure, for sure. I saw in the comments section that Chins is now a $60 cameo. Girl, stop the motherfucking press, Wicked Crafters. Say no more. 
We got the time today, motherfuckers. Give me just one second here. Hold on. We got Google. All right. Google is a whole motherfucking thing, Chantel. I don't think so. Not today. Let's see, Google. All right. Cameo. Cameo official site. Foodie. No, I don't want 15% off. Are you kidding me? Foodie beauty. Nah, she's still 30. Who told you 60? No. Look, she's got 4.9 on the on the um feedback or whatever. Hi. Oh, hold on. I can just share this shit. Sorry. Uno momento. There it is. There she is. I got a cameo from my son from Angry Cop who has 1 million subscribers. He charges $35. Hi, YouTube content creator, queen, beezer, mukbanger, gravy, connoisseur, vlogger, traveler. Wow. Look, you can select a video type. You can get a birthday, a pep talk. You can get a roast. Ooh, you can get advice, question, other, book, a personal video, $30. Can we see these uh, where people have left uh, the feedback or whatever? How do we do that? You can watch this shit, Alex. Roses are red, violets are blue. I've got a special cameo just for you. Happy Valentine's Day, Kaidi, from Alex, your special other. So I hear that uh, you guys watch me a lot and that really means a lot to me that you guys are fans. Thank you so much. We have a cameo also from the little Beezer here. Say hi, Kylie and Alex. Say it, say it. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> so I thank you guys for watching me and for the support with this cameo and I wish you a happy Valentine's Day Heidi, Alex wants you to know how much he loves you and how wonderful of a person you are and that you have a little future Beezer named Lucas who just recently turned one so happy birthday to little baby Beezer Lucas <laughs> I'm sure he'll be a Beezer I'm sure he will <laughs> she damn near choked getting that out <laughs> we know you hate kids so I hope you guys actually get a lot of Valentine's Day bees in uh, this Valentine's Day. So I Oh, yeah, yeah, you right, you right, you filthy animal. We should probably save this shit for a rainy day, right? There's Brenda, Dawn. Look, she looks real fucking serious in this one. For every occasion, birthdays, graduations, and even the holiday season, celebrate it with a personalized video. I got to see this one really quick. She looks, she looks like she's serious. Seri I bet this is like a pet talk. This is, this is either pep talk or advice. I can tell by the look on her face. Well, hello, Haley. I have a very special cameo message from your husband, Nick. So ah, Nick, what the fuck, bro? I know you're a huge fan of the channel. That really means a lot to me that you watch me. That's awesome. And I also hear that you won a tennis match against a pretty serious opponent, a highly rated player. This is a fucking Beezer behavior for sure. So that's really awesome. You should feel super accomplished. That's awesome, awesome. Can you imagine being a tennis player and having a death fact congratulate you on your win? I can't take this shit serious. I can't. Ah, back to you, Amberlynn. God, look at her. She's so excited. She's so happy. Like, she is living her best death fat life right now at this moment. Out at a restaurant. Look at this bowl of pasta, my dude. <laughs> you know what Ray says? Fuck. Ray, the way she talks, she goes, my guy. <laughs> She's so funny. I just need to tell y'all that, but that shit's funny. She goes, come on, my guy. What's going on, my guy? Look at this, my guy. Like, what is this, bro? What is this? Look at this. Look at this bowl. The amount of food that's in there. Like, look how happy she is. She's like, yep, this is it. This does it. Weight loss journey activated. Look, she's look at her. She's thrilled right now. Is it funny? I think it's funny. I don't know if I think it's funny for the same reason you think it's funny, though. Like, I don't 
don't know why you moved the camera. Look at it. You're, I mean, the, the waitress is not, there's no way for them to be in the video. I get that you want to pretend like you're protecting people's privacy, but that shit was just weird. <laughs> your eight year old says that? That's so hilarious. She's eight too. Oh, yes, Okay, guys. And like she's excusing her behavior and I really think that she thinks it's cute and she's being cocky but she, because she's claiming that she's lost weight. Like that's where this whole attitude is coming from because she's claiming according to her that the scale has went down that she's down to 488 pounds which again I just maybe but I don't think so. But that's why she's being super cocky. She's like, yeah, see, guys, I can I can eat out and I can eat pasta and I can eat all this shit that I shouldn't be eating. And it's totally fine. I'm going to lose weight regardless. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Butter crumpet. Amber's mom living high on the hog. That's messed up, dude, for real. <laughs> okay guys so right now i'm currently at the walmart i'm actually in the toy aisle because i'm gonna get a toy for my step niece and nephew because i'm gonna go see them today um so i don't know what i'm gonna get in what world does 4.99 mean i have wiggle room in amberlynn's world that's where but i know she really likes to color because i colored with her last time so i'm probably gonna get her like a new coloring book Maybe markers. Probably not markers. I think she likes colors. Olive Garden Endless Pasta Bow. Yep, that's where she is, bunny. Or pencils, so I'll do that. Okay, so instead of getting like a standard coloring book, I found these scribble scrubbies. You literally get to use the markers on these cute little animals, and then you can like clean it off and redo it. Color and clean adorable little pets. That is perfect. So I'm also going to get her a few coloring books and this really cool. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I got to give it to her, honestly, that she's comfortable to go out in public and eat out like that and not worry about being able to fit at the table or being able to worry about fitting at a booth like I gotta wonder if um there are some what you would call like safe places that she knows if they go there they're not going to see her at a booth or she knows what time to go where they're not going to be crowded because there ain't no way she can be comfortable going out in public at her size to go out to dinner you just can't it's not possible twist up neon bright colored pencil <clears throat> Hello, hello. Okay, so we have a taste test, folks. I hope that you're buckled up and ready because this is truly something I've been wanting to try for like a minute now. So this girly pop is about to try it. So, so it's freeze dried, like sour. Did you did you did you peep the waddle? You gotta watch the waddle for like a minute now. So this girly pop is about to try it. I don't know if y'all can tell, and I know it's such a small part to see, but it's it's the waddle that she does. That's how she walks. <laughs> <clears throat> like when she's out and she's walking and she's walking from the car to go to these restaurants and shit that's exactly how she's walking and another thing like what does her mom drive her mom drives a car right yeah. that's got to be a fucking sight hello hello okay so we have a taste test, folks i hope that you're buckled up and ready because this is truly something i've been wanting to try for like a minute now so this girly pop is about to try it so so it's it's so small but you can you can see the waddle that she does and you just gotta imagine her she's 33 33 Three. she's so young she's just a baby she's just a baby she's out here waddling like she's a 70 year old woman with a bad back freeze dried like sour gummy worms and then freeze dried peach rings that's so bad y'all this whole bag 150 calories if you don't that's believe so me bad. look there no we believe you but that's so bad that shit is just trash that's an artificial sugar it's like that shit that they sell on Amazon, those gummies or whatever that say that they're sugar free and you eat that shit and you're going to be sick as a motherfucker. That's the same shit that they're using in this, I would imagine. 150 calories. Like what? girly pop. I can't do the girly pop much more. But, okay, so the first one I'm going to be trying are the peach rings. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm going to love the texture. All right, I love a peach ring in real life, so I hope this is good. I mean, it shouldn't taste any different because it's literally a peach ring just freeze dried. All right, let's go. Whoa. That is sweet. What the heck? What? 10 out of 10. Yeah. Okay. No. Bethy says that's going to give her explosive diarrhea. Then we're going to have another one filming themselves from the hospital room talking about how they, how they had to get uh, fluids because they were dehydrated.
Now the summer gummy, the summer gummy worms, sour, not summer. Like, what am I doing? Look at that. <laughs> Me trying to get a thumbnail. All right, let's try it. And you know, it's so weird because you hear about how much time that Amber's spending with her mom now that they live in the same city or whatever. And a lot of their time spent together is them going out to restaurants. And it, it, it even when now that Amber is an adult and we know the, the past relationship with Amber and her mom and that all history or whatever. But you never like you, you, sh there's no way that her mom could even be comfortable. That is your daughter. That would be the, the equivalent of uh, knowing that your daughter is an alcoholic and inviting your daughter out to the bar. Like, it's really, I mean, there, there's a difference, but there's not. You feel what I'm saying? You're not going to feel comfortable with your daughter who has had these this, this horrible eating addiction and weight problem since, basically with Amber, it's been since birth. Struggling with her weight, watching her at 33 years old, wobbling to walk to get to the restaurant, and y'all are sitting down, and she's paying for you to eat, which is probably what's happening. I mean, I guess we don't even have to say that, but the odds are is that Amber's paying for her mom to go out to eat and shit. How could you even be, feel okay about that? As a mother, how do you not want to say something like, you know what, let me help you, or we don't need to do this, and we don't need to eat this. Let's go do this instead. Let's go walk the park, or let's go out and, you know, do something. Let's join the YMCA together. Karina says she did that. You're, you're telling me that her mom did that? What do you mean? She has no friends. She always with her mom and her grandma. Yep. I think her mom can't say anything because of their history. I think her mom don't want to fucking run a good thing. I think she fucking hit the jackpot when Amberlynn moved back home, moved closer to her. Does literally no one love these death fats? <laughs> Her mom is an animal abusing trash. What's the story with that, Plutes? Just like Shmi. Whoa. These are very sweet. Not as sweet as the peach rings, but still very, 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 very sweet. The texture is heaven. <clears throat> this is true ASMR. <laughs> That's just crazy. There ain't no way. I mean, I, I couldn't do that with anybody. That goes just a fucking across the board. I just wouldn't feel okay with myself going out to a restaurant with somebody not to, and that's not in a mean way but i would i would feel bad just i would feel like i was enabling them you got somebody that can barely walk because of their weight and you're going out to a restaurant no i'm gonna pass bro that's all right <laughs> the mom is half the reason shit damn they're probably the whole reason see eating them like this you eat way less calories because they're just so strong. I've literally sat here and only had two of these. And if I had like real gummy worms, I would have already had like 10. Your girl recommends. Hello, hello. Well, I was gonna say welcome to a new vlog, but I'm pretty sure this is continuing on from whatever I have from prior to this. But hello, I actually have not put on my lipstick. Hey, KB. Yeah, so I need to go do that. But today I'm spending the day with my mom and my grandma. So we are currently at the casino. I'm excited. I haven't been in a hot minute, but we all wanted to go today. So we're like, Let's do it. My hair is frizzy today. I added none of my little like frizzy sprays. All these things are things that are so bad for Amber. Who has problems with addiction, obviously. Yes, let's take, let's take Amber to the fucking casino. Let's take Amber to the bingo. Let's take Amber to the bar. Let's drink. Amber's what? Admitted to drinking at home alone by herself. Moms still aren't an excuse. No, I agree with that. So don't mind that. I will say the temperature today is perfect. I think it's like in the high 60s. It just feels so good. I'm not blaming her mom. I'm not saying it's her mom's fault. Listen, her mom definitely plays a role in the reason why Amber is the way that she is. And that's not necessarily even to talk about her food addiction or her weight. But yeah, definitely a lot that went on in Amber's childhood. Anybody can come from their parenting, okay? I'm not saying that's every reason, but still it's weird that Amber's mom can go sit down at dinner with Amber knowing that she's struggling the way that she is. And it's not just a one-time thing. Like, I'm sure they're hitting up the Olive Garden quite frequently. You don't think that she feels weird watching her daughter who's 33 years old who's struggling to walk and get in and out of her car into the Olive Garden eating all-you-can-eat breadsticks? Like, get out of my face. Like, dude, no. Hell no, it's not her fault, but still the shit's weird. 
I've been trying to light one of these guys up for the last forever. Okay, I won $29.50. I almost ran the grand. I almost won the grand, but it didn't work out very well. <laughs> is it filming? Hi. Is it? Oh, I guess so. Do I need to push it? Oh, it's fine. I think it's fine. My mom just won. How much was it? 60. 60 doll hairs. Good job. I just won $64. Woo! Well, I actually was not going to tell you this at all, but I have been off track the last couple of days. And the reason why I wasn't going to tell you is just because like, I feel like there's so much judgment. Like I have been doing really good and still people are judging so hard. I have lost a good chunk of weight in my opinion. My body feels that way. Like my brain feels that way. My soul feels that way. Like I feel like it's been a really good, sorry, there's like lint, cat hair and everything else. Anyways, I feel like I've lost a really good amount of weight each month so far in 2024 when I said, you know, I'm gonna get on track. I'm gonna do this thing. I said I wanted to lose hundred pounds this year. And so far, like I am on the path to doing so. Even though I've been doing really good, it's just like, still there's so much judgment and it's making it like hard for me to want to like vocalize moments like this where I feel vulnerable. And I know that I have done not the greatest and I kind of just want to talk about it and be open about it. But it's like so hard to do because there's backlash for me being human and making mistakes and not being perfect. As someone who has struggled with food for a majority of their life, I'm literally 33, like it's gonna happen. Like I'm gonna be making mistakes. I know what triggered that. It was definitely my trip to Trader Joe's because when I go there, I get a lot of like processed foods. It was definitely out of like my routine, the things that I have been buying. Exactly, Pam, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I've I've been going, you know, I've been slipping up on your on my diet and I just don't want to say anything about it because I know people are gonna give me shit. And she's like, You've been doing the same song and dance, Amber, for 10 years. So you are acting so brand new to why people give you so much shit. They already know what's gonna happen. When you were on here two videos ago, three videos ago, and you were doing your food haul and you were trying to justify all of the purchases purchases that you had made the processed food, the mac and cheese, all the snacks that you shouldn't be eating. You were like, no, it's totally fine. I'm on a weight loss journey and I'm counting calories and I'm totally okay with buying all this food. Like people were telling her in that video, she was even addressing it before they had the opportunity to say something. She knows she shouldn't be getting this shit. She's getting it anyway. She knows what she's doing. Now, two, three videos later, she's talking about how she's backtracking and how she's not doing that great and how she doesn't want to talk about it because people are going to judge her. They already, they told you when that video came out that you know, you know from experience you shouldn't be getting that shit because you know what's going to happen. You always know what the result of you buying shit like that, bringing it into your house is going to be. Mama Lynn beat and killed a service animal, was arrested for it? How did I not know this? Amber has denied this, but it's on her public record. It's been circulated around. I had no idea. Karina, thank you so much for your support. Holy shit. I know what I'm doing after this stream's over. Wow. That's crazy. That's the first, I mean, wow. Holy hell. Or was it just a rando service animal? Holy shit, dude. Yeah, so for you to sit there and take out your frustration on your own bad choices, you're 33 years old and 500 pounds. You don't have, you really don't, I mean, yeah, I guess you can keep fucking around until you find out, but you're really not in a position at 33 years old and 500 pounds to, to keep making mistakes and keep getting off track because we all know where that leads. And that leads to Amber saying, I'm just going to keep my uh, weight loss journey offline, which means she's not, there will be no weight loss journey, only a weight gain journey. It's all the same shit. I for myself, like it wasn't like part of the routine that I've been having. Like I've been eating a lot of the same foods every single day and that's truly helped me so much stay on track. So then when I had all these new foods in my home, especially processed ones and ones that like just make me feel a little too good. Like sometimes foods like give me a high. If you guys suffer with a food addiction or you're an emotional eater, then you guys understand that. And I really want to try to stay away from foods that like give me that feeling. And I, again, after I watched this video first before I went and listened to her weight gain, I mean her weight gain, her weigh in video. And when she said she weighed in at 488 pounds, I was like, how? Because I'm watching this video before I watch the one where she does a current weigh-in. And I'm like, holy shit. Like, she's gained weight since the last time I've watched Amberlynn Reed. And then she's claiming to have lost, like, 20, 30 pounds or some shit like that. And I'm, I'm looking at her. I'm like, how? Holy shit, man. Smooth operator. What happened? What did I miss? I missed something. All right, anyways. 
sucks to say trader joe's is not for me or not for me currently it's like i just feel super swollen i just have not been doing very good the last couple of days she's gonna sit here and blame trader joe's when she was at the olive garden eating freaking pasta it's so weird it's like i went to olive garden the other day with my mom which is totally fine because i have been allowing myself to eat at restaurants but during a day where i'm on track i'm able to like fit that into my calories i'm able to do really good but the olive garden day it was an off track day and i tried i woke up i said you know what back to counting my calories and olive garden was my first meal and i was like okay i got this i got this and then like i was tracking my food while i was there i was fine but then later at night Oh, right. I don't expect myself to be perfect. I definitely don't at all. Never have been, never will be. But coming on here and admitting this is really hard because I know what people are gonna say. They're gonna say that I've given up, which I haven't. They're gonna say they've expected this, which okay, fine. I try really hard to- Yeah, but why can you, why, why, why are you even sitting there acting like that's not a thing and that doesn't happen? It hasn't been happening for the last 10 years. That is the Amberlynn cycle. You're just like Chantel. We, I mean, it's, it's different, but it's the same. You get on these health journeys, weight loss journeys, you lose a chunk of weight and then everything goes to shit. Everything goes to shit. Like then you start admitting, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm backtracking. I'm not eating the right things. And you have certain things that you're blaming it on. And then you're like, but don't worry. And I don't want to hear any shit because you know what? This is fine. This is okay. This is just part of the struggle. And then it's all back to the fucking, the very beginning, square one. She thinks because it came from Trader Joe's that it makes it healthy. These girls have a death wish. They excuse their mistakes so easily. Film for the people who are like genuinely here to like watch me. But right now in the back of my brain, I have a lot of like the rude bullying and harassing, just like beating at me. In the and see, that's your thing. You want to say that everybody's being rude and bullying when they're just speaking the truth to you. You would take a comment just dead ass speaking the truth to you and you'd be like, oh, well, that's being rude or oh, that's bullying or all oh, this. You, how do you how do you consider yourself some kind of weight loss channel when it's the same bullshit every single time with the same outcome? There's never any positive results with you. And if you do by chance get lucky and lose a little bit of weight, you gain it back immediately and some and some every time and i don't like it i don't like the way it makes me feel like i want to be more vulnerable with you guys and i want to open up with you guys like i used to like so many people reach out to me and they say they miss that side of me but whenever i do it it's just i feel who's doing that who's reaching out to amberlynn telling amberlynn that they want her to be more vulnerable with the audience all we want is more side characters i don't care about none of that shit we want more side characters we want you outside in the wild we want full body shots that's the kind of shit that we want Talking about being more vulnerable, more open. Why don't you read more poetry while you're at it? No, thank you. Side characters and full body shots and, and more mukbangs. Why not? Fuck it. Like balls to the wall. Summer 2024, Amberlynn. Another wall gets added right in front of the wall that was already up because people are just like too harsh. The good news is though, I did go grocery shopping today at my normal grocery store. I got the normal foods that I have been eating and I'm going to start again tomorrow. Back on my same old path here. And my goal was to stay below 2000 calories, but like... Also, another part of me is like so mad at myself where I'm like, I want to stay below 1700 now. It's just like, that's like a, <laughs> that's getting in like a problematic area. It's like me wanting to punish myself for having a couple or a few days of not counting calories. That's not okay. I have even been taught that by multiple weight loss doctors or when I was going to the outpatient, like you are not supposed to punish yourself in that way. But like my brain is telling me, well, you've done really bad and you really want to lose these hundred pounds this year. And if you can, you can do more by lowering your calories to 1700. Like, it's just like this like thing in my brain. And, like, these are things that like, I just normally would just jot down in my journal and very much focus in. Do you, did you, did you catch what she said though? That's kind of important. Like she's talking about how, because she did so bad and I guess she gained some weight or whatever and how she wants to cut her calories back to 2,500, you know, to kind of make up for the weight that she gained and doing all bad. <clears throat> it's so funny that she says that because she says, she says it's punishing herself. So that right there tells you that she really, when the way, when she looks at weight and weight loss and calories and cutting calories and everything else, she equates that to, to punishing herself. There's no reason in the world why Amberlynn can't cut her calories back to 2,500 and be completely satisfied with that. If the outcome is for her to be more healthy and when she's healthier, she's going to be happier. She's going to be able to do more shit. Like when you're in a weight loss journey and your goal is to lose weight because you want to, you know, ha be able to do things and have a happier life and a healthier life. You're not thinking about cutting calories as punishment. It's just part of the work that you got to get that you have to do to get to your goal. And the fact that she's saying that any of this is punishment right there tells you that she's going to already fail, like failure across the board.
you're not gonna you're not gonna achieve any kind of goals if you think when you're out here trying to do something and better yourself if you're if that's on the same level as punishment. What happened? Who block who? What happened? You said random service animal animal. Oh my god, you're a psycho. What about the service animal? It doesn't matter who the service animal. It doesn't matter who the dog was. Could have been a fucking stray. What does any of that matter? Thank you, Missing Mimic. Put them through college, bitch. <laughs> but you can't, you can't sit here and think when you're, when you, because that's like a whole fucking mindset. Like you've got to always keep the end goal, like has to stay at the forefront of your mind. Like you got to always consider what the end goal is. Like you want a better body. Like you don't even have to be a death fight. You could just be somebody who just wants to get in shape. Like there's levels to this shit, right? And it's not something that happens overnight. We all fucking know that. It takes hard work. It takes dedication. But if you sit there and say punishment, if you even include that in there, you fucking might as well forget it. Well, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go punish myself. And I guess since I've done so bad, I'm going to go punish myself and walk an extra two more miles. Well, then you fuck it. It's over before it even started. Big and Lynn Reed, you won't ever lose weight sitting inside with Legos. Change your routine. Change your life, dummy. Or going to the casino with Mama Reed. Or going out to Olive Garden with your family. Or going to bingo. Like, yeah, you're not going to get nowhere like that. You keep playing the same song and dance. Cutting calories. Claiming you're cutting calories. losing, Using your little fitness pal or whatever. You know, you're having minimum, minimum results with what you're doing. And that's even if you're being honest. Let's say she's being fucking on and honest and she's lost, what, 20 pounds? Does anybody know the actual number? She congratulates herself too much. Exactly. Like you're doing the least possible that you can do to have any kind of results. You're 500 fucking pounds. You should be. What's what's doctor now say? See me in four weeks and you should have lost like 60 pounds. You know, his little accent that he does. They, they, he gives those big numbers because the bigger you are, the easier it is to lose weight. Weight doesn't become hard to lose until you get down Less than weight. Amberlynn is 500 pounds, dude. She could walk the block and, and burn so many calories. She could. 2,500 calories? Are you kidding me? Who's, who's, who's even allowed to eat 2,500 fucking calories? Are you kidding me? She should ask her viewers for ideas on daily activities and post herself out doing stuff. Yeah, you might get some more positive interaction with your audience since that's obviously what you're seeking since what your audience says and thinks about you matters so much and it obviously matters because you're constantly talking about it you're constantly giving your audience shit there's all there's constantly pushback between you and your audience with so much negativity and haters and bullies out here why don't you do some positive back and forth with your audience why don't you give them something to be positive there ain't nothing to go over there and be positive in your comments about if anybody is being positive in your comments that's just because they're fucking lying to you truth hurts well you you don't count Lindsay. you don't count i ain't talking about you motherfucker <clears throat> at her weight losing 20 pounds is easy yeah it's easy and she celebrates it on there and not share this out loud but i feel like i haven't really been that transparent in my current 2024 weight loss journey i've kind of just been like yeah i'm on track you guys like here's the food i'm eating this is how many calories i'm having this is how much weight i lost blah, blah, blah. but like i kind of want to go like a little bit deeper dig a little deeper and people are gonna hate me regardless so that's false that's not true none of that's true if you're doing with like these people in chat are saying that you should do because and, and again her weight is none of our business she's the one that brings it to her channel so if you're going to bring weight loss to your channel and then expect people to pat your ass over the smallest shit that you do. Like, oh, yay, good for you. You've only had Olive Garden six times this week. That's really great compared to your eight. To maintain this size, like five to 6,000 calories a day that she's eating, according to Dr. Now. That's absolutely insane, Amber. It's the insanity that comes out of your mouth. And then you want to sit here and give your audience shit. Blows my mind. It is what it is. <laughs> like, I just need to, like, just truly try my very hardest to, like, take out the trash. And focus on the wonderful people who are watching me. And I love you guys so freaking much. You have no idea. So vulnerability is for you guys. Thank you guys so much. That's so crazy. That's so crazy. I just can't imagine. I mean, I can. Again, it's Amberlynn, just like it's Chantel, right? But bringing your weight loss journey to your platform 
after you, how many times do you think, what would you guess is the number of weight loss challenges or whatever that Amberlynn has uh, failed thus far since she's been on YouTube? That you can't even, you can't even fathom it. Like the number's so crazy. Hundreds, hundreds, hundreds. Let's keep going. We're going to, I want to watch the, the latest three videos. Be filming a what I ate today video. So my goal usually is. This, this is what I eat on a cheat day. Because that's exactly what a 500 pound person needs is a cheat day. 941 thumbs up, 2.9 thousand thumbs down, 1,371 guaranteed negative ass comments. Why does, Chan why does Chantel, why does Amber bring so much negativity to her channel? Because her channel is a fucking negative. What is there to go over there and talk positive about? The pigtails. Say below 2,000 calories. But what has been helping me personally from overeating or just giving up in general, instead of like having a standard cheat day where normally in the past I would allow myself to literally eat everything under the sun that I absolutely wanted, and then that would spiral me for weeks and I could not get back on track. So what I do now instead, which I've done twice already and it has worked great because I have not messed up on my diet, I am still losing weight and I'm feeling really, really good. So what I've been doing is allowing myself to have like my own version of a cheat day. And what that means, I'm giving myself like a different calorie limit. So I wanna stay below 2,500. So usually by doing that, I don't lose weight the next day. I usually stay the same, but this has helped me so much with staying on track. So that is my goal for today. Stay below 2,500. This is my version of like a cheat day. If I did not allow myself to do this and I constantly thought about how bad I wanted to eat, like this or that or extra things, that is when I binge. That is when I overeat. That is when I spiral for weeks on end. So I found like a perfect compromise in the middle and I figured today would be a really good day to show you guys what I eat on a day where it's kind of like a cheat day. So none of my meals are gonna make sense. I'm not having like a standard breakfast today. I will be eating processed foods. I will be eating on camera. It's just like tons of disclaimers, but I'm just getting you guys ready for what you're about to see. I can safely say that I have not been on track this consecutively in years. It has been years. That is why I feel safe. To That's crazy because I know in, in years, in years, in between that time that you're talking about that you've claimed to be on track. That just lets you know, like, that's just her actually being honest for once in her life that she's been lying about the past weight loss journeys that she's been on. 2,500 is a good choice for her. Once she loses the first 50 to 75, move down to 22. Show you guys, like, what I'm eating. That's even if she's being honest, though. The odds of her tracking everything that she eats is slim to none. Because I'm in the right head frame. I feel like the head speaks for itself mindset, whatever it may be. Just know that whatever you guys see me eat today is a vast improvement to like my standard way of eating and what made me at 1.572 pounds. All right, let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna have, which I cannot pronounce, is cheese-filled fiocchetti with pink sauce. So it says on the back of the bag um, for stove top to use some oil. So I'm gonna be measuring the oil um, using about half of a serving, which would be about 7.5 milliliters. So I'm gonna be cooking this in a pan. Okay, so I have half a serving of oil and this is how it looks frozen. Okay guys, so I'm finished and I cooked this down a lot, like a lot, a lot, because I like my food to be cooked. So a lot of the oil that was already originally in the sauce and plus the oil that I added is like still in the pan, but regardless, this is 930 calories. So on a day where I was trying to stick below 2000, I would not- What did she say that was? I was reading chat. A lot of the oil that was already originally in the sauce and plus the oil that I added is like still in the pan, but regardless, this is 930 calories. Holy shit, she's wasting 930 calories on that bowl of food. That's crazy. So on a day, 930 calories. How many calories did she say she was allowing herself to eat? 2,500. And this is supposed to be her first meal of the day. All right. Where I was trying to stick below 2,000, I would not be eating this. And if I did choose to do so, I'd probably only have like half a serving with like a ton of broccoli or something. Okay, so really quickly, let's do a taste test. That's good. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to easily give this like an 8.5 out of 10. I'm going to go eat this. Oh, I need a drink. Hold on. So I'm going to be having a water and a diet green tea Lipton mixed berry. It's so good. I always shake the tea before I uh, drink it because it's usually just like some stuff down there. You guys, I'm not going to lie to you, but I cannot eat any more of this. I'm not used to eating things like this anymore. It's just like very rich. It's delicious, but like my stomach is like, girl, no more. So I'm not. I just, I just don't believe that. I don't believe that. I, I don't, I don't believe that. You, you, are you kidding me? We've seen the way you eat, Amber. I mean, you just said, you know, in your disclaimer or whatever, how how much different the amount of food and everything was so different for before you started losing your uh, your your little weight on your weight loss journey. But yet you want us to believe that you couldn't even finish off your bowl of pasta 
what is that? Pasta and cheese. I cannot believe you wasted 900 and some calories on a, a bowl of pasta and cheese. I'm going to eat the rest of that, but I'm still going to consider it the full amount of calories. I very much like to overestimate things just in case, but I don't think I'm going to It's be obvious. Eating. It's very obvious that she likes to overestimate things, right? For a hot minute, because like I'm telling you, my stomach doesn't feel the greatest after eating that. See, this is why it feels so much better to not have days where I eat things like that. Twinkie looks so cute. Speaking of Twinkie, you guys wanted an update on her. She's doing amazing. She took all her antibiotics. She no longer has any abscess. A lot of people were asking, I know this is like, I should probably talk about this in a vlog, but since I'm here, um, a lot of people were like, why didn't you take her to a primary vet? He does have one here. It's just, I couldn't get her in, in an emergency. So I had to go somewhere else. So I had, that's why I had to go to an emergency vet because when There's I- So many choices that she could have spent that 900 calories and she spent it on a bowl of pasta and cheese. Some shit that came out of her freezer. That shit had to be disgusting. I called. They were like, yeah, we can see her in a few days. And I'm like, no, no, no. Like, I want, like, I was so worried. I want her to be seen, like, now. So then that's when they recommended the emergency vet that I actually went to, which I loved. And by the way, the vet was a subscriber. Hello, if you're watching. And they didn't actually. Oh my God, she's famous. Tell me until after everything was said and done. Which Do I... you think that the vet is a subscriber and a supporter of uh, Amberlynn? Or is she a part of Girl World in general? I thought it was like very professional and they were just like, I love you. What are the odds that she's an actual, that's what she doesn't understand. So many people are going to know who Amber is, but it's very few that actually watch Amber for Amber. Most people are there because they're haters. I know who you are. And I was like, oh my God. So she saw me like cry for Twinkie because like when I had to sign this like paper for Twinkie to be sedated, like I literally had like a tear come down because it scared me. Cause it's like, I had to sign if I wanted them to like help her breathe, if she stopped breathing or anything like that. And I'm like, uh, yes. And then I told my mom actually when we were leaving, I was like, I have met a lot of subscribers, like easily over a hundred, like easily. None of them has met Twinkie besides one. So yeah, she was just super sweet and she loved Twinkie so much and she was just so kind and helpful. But yeah, Twinkie is doing amazing. Okay, so the next thing I'm having is a serving of these rice cakes, which is 30 grams. Sorry to have that measured. You actually get a lot for a serving, not gonna lie. And then I will be having six of these olives. This shit's all carbs. She's eating nothing but carbs. One of them is 25 mm. calories. Then I'm just having one pack. This pack, I just have it opened. It's just some salami sticks, which look like that they're actually super good okay so last minute i decided to just have four olives because i realized that they're pretty big they're stuffed with garlic and jalapeno so for this plate it does come out to 350 calories mm. honestly this salami i know it looks weird but it's the best texture and it tastes so good and you really do get a lot of these little thingies and you guys know that i love oh my god all right so next thing i'm having are two of these pulled pork tamales it's 340 for one of them so 680 for two which so far i've had 1960. nothing is prepared not a job not going to school, not taking care of a family, not taking care of a husband or a wife, at home all day, nothing to do, has a serious food addiction, over 500 pounds, claims she's under, but I think we all know at this point she's over 500 pounds, and you're, you want me to believe. Number one, why are you just eating food out of the package? Like, you could devote all your time into preparing all of your meals. You would get more for your money. You It'd be less calories and more food. I don't understand that. You've got all the time in the world to sit around and prepare your own food, but yet you're ripping over open packaged food and TV dinners and frozen pasta. Shit is mad weird, bro. Mad weird. But oh, just that was one thing. But you want us to believe that somebody that is sitting in an apartment, nothing to do, no job, no hobbies other than coloring and Legos. No kids, no wife, no nothing. And this is all that you've eaten when you just did a grocery haul to the, to the Trader Joe's and you have access to, to, to Uber Eats and all those other food apps that you claim that you're highly addicted to. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe that this is her, what she eats on a cheat day while she's losing weight. I don't believe that she's actively losing weight. No, because if she was serious about that shit, you would see her actually do, trying to do more for herself. Like prepare her own food. Do more. Why does she just put out this trash and then expect people to believe her and then get mad when there's a lot of pushback? It's all processed. All processed, just over, it's overpriced trash calories today all right who the fuck eats like this so here it is finished mm. so let's do a taste i mean yeah you see like people who just are you have a very busy life and they really don't have time to cook unfortunately they use do, it does happen it's a thing but this is just not that scenario like what else do you got going on in your life that you can't prepare your own food
That's that just looks soggy. I'm hoping that's good. I do love me a tamale. That, I don't think that I would even consider that a tamale. I would not. Yep, that's tasty. That might be a 10 out of 10 for me. I do love <laughs> The bar is so low. The bar is so low for them. Tio, you guys know me. Like, yeah, you better put some hot sauce on there to cover up the freezer burnt taste in there. Tapatio girly pop. So I do want to try it with tap. A lot of people ask why I like tapatio so much. I actually grew up with it. I just use it as my go-to hot sauce since I was literally like eight years old. I did have a sriracha era, but I love tapatio. Yep. So we're about to- You know what's so funny between her and, and Chantel that I find like the most insane out of all of it is they would rather people think that they're putting in the effort to lose the weight and that they've actually lost the weight than to actually lose the weight. That's what really gets me. And that's how, like, it's like, that is some next level shit. Like, for what? What do you get out of that? What do you get out of think that you're fooling people, people that you don't even know, strangers on the internet, that you've lost weight and that you're serious about your weight loss journey? That's because you know off camera it's some wild shit going on. Some shit y'all could probably not even fucking imagine as far as the eating is concerned, especially with Chantel. And again, I'll die on that hill. I, I, I think that Chantella can out eat Amber any day. Okay, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Like both of them. Like they'll come on their channels and they'll be dainty and drink water. And oh, this is what I'm, this is what I'm eating in a day. What I eat in a day to lose 200 pounds on my 200 pound weight loss journey, you know? <clears throat> and then like they claim to lose weight and yeah, I've lost 30 pounds or I'm 100 pounds smaller than I was in Canada. And then it's like, you're asking, motherfucker, do you see this? Is it just me? Or why does she look bigger than what she was a year ago? But they would rather people think that they are putting in the work and that they have lost weight than to actually lose weight. That is mind-blowing. It's next-level shit. Amber is the same exact way. The same exact way. She would rather a motherfucker think that she's losing weight, think that she's serious about her weight loss journey, think that she's lost weight, then actually lose the weight. Plutes, I agree with that. Thank you for your support. It's mind-blowing. And then they got the nerve to get mad, and that's where it comes from. Just like she sat down and she did her whole speech a while ago talking about, I know this could be a lot of negativity and bullying in these comments. Because she's so mad that she can't fucking manipulate everybody. And that's how narcissists are. If they cannot convince you that their reality is the truth, then they can't take it. Then you're a bad person. You're the bully. Tiny dainty bits, y'all. The calories don't stick. Huh. <laughs> so with this, I'm just having a mini can of Sprite Zero. Go have your little mini can. Another, like all this package shit, all this wasted money. It's just trash. Mini cans of Sprite. Who invented that and for what and why? It's such a waste of money. Okay, so the next thing I'm having is... Look at this. Are you kidding me? How do you even get all this shit to fit in your refrigerator and your freezer? Oh, that's right. You're not buying meats. You're not buying vegetables. You're not freezing anything. It's all processed, packaged bullshit. Mac and cheese, Trader Joe's, reduced guilt. What's that say? 85% less fat and 25% fewer calories. I can remember being a teenager and preteen going to the store and really seeing these packages of food that would say that and be like oh my gosh I'm gonna eat that and I'm gonna lose weight and then when you get older and you realize how to read calories and everything you flip it over and you're like holy shit that's got just as much calories in it as the other one has is this Trader Joe's mac and cheese it is only 270 calories only this thing is 270 calories are you kidding me so I have had this before so no taste test but this is delicious that's there's no way that can be delicious it's frozen mac and cheese no way and I definitely recommend it. So I'm going to go warm this up in the microwave and enjoy. Oh, you're going to put that shit in the microwave, huh? You ain't going to put it in the oven. Wow. Next level. So I forgot to show it, but with my mac and cheese, I'm having a sparkling ice in black raspberry. This one is so... What is this? What is this angle? What are we doing? Are you naked eating? Why are we doing this? But freaking good. Y'all, I am so tired. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh my gosh. I took my melatonin, which this is the best. It's the brand... This motherfucker suffers from depression taking melatonin. Do you not know the side effects from long-term melatonin use is depression? And melatonin is never a good option. Ollie, it's the sleep. I just get it from Target. I'm sure you can get it anywhere, but I'm so tired. 
wow and i forgot to end this vlog i had about 2200 calories today so i definitely was successful in staying under my 20 she wants me to believe that she wants me to believe that 2200 calories huh all right 2500 and by doing that I she's crying about punishing herself with the 2500 calories and then she by miracle comes in at 2200 wow look at her go girl allowed myself to have some of the foods that I probably wouldn't have had if I was eating like, a healthier day, which is when I stay below 2,000. So it's been working for me, and I think that's all that matters. You know, there was a moment today where I was like, damn, I want takeout so bad, but I ignored it. So this is where the cheat day ends, and I'm getting back to below 2,000 calories tomorrow. And if you guys did make it this far, here's a secret weigh-in. I weighed in today at 488.0, so it is the lowest that I have weighed in a hot minute. And yeah, I'm just like really proud of myself, and I just want to keep it up. Yeah, I'm really proud of myself, guys. I'm totally proud of myself. Obviously, I'm not. Do you believe this shit? Maybe it's me because I don't keep up with Amber Lynn. Maybe I'm got it all wrong. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Incoming. I got to know. I just don't. No way. I know that I watched her not that long ago and, and the woman looked bigger. I mean, she looks the same size, if not bigger now. The head. It's its all in the head. The proof is in the head. Perfect, by no means, but I've definitely made a lot of improvement, and I have room to grow and be better. But I'm about to take off this hair makeup. I'm about to shower. I'm about to put my hair up, and then I'm about to go to bed because I am super tired. I hope that you guys did enjoy I don't know how do you get all doped up on melatonin to decide you're going to take a shower, wash your face, put your hair up, then go to bed. That mel melatonin hits fast. If that shit works for you, like some people I hear it don't work for it. But if it's somebody that and it works for you, you know your ass is going straight to bed. Once it hits, it's over. Okay, ah, what time is it? Shit, I really wanted to get through this uh, this grocery haul she did. To lose weight at her size, it's 1,500 calories daily. Kalari, thank you for your support. I, I think she could have more than 1,500. Like, even at the 25, she should be losing weight. But it's just it's just a fact that it's all lies. It's all fucking ducktails, man. I believe she's 48. She's aging and petite. Oh, angry plant plant, you mean like short? Yeah, you're right. Thank you for being a member for nine months. Let's do the grocery haul. Okay, let's do this and I gotta go. Hey guys. I went over yesterday. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. I know I have not been uploading lately. My bad. <clears throat> I'll do better. It's just like in the past, especially when I've done like daily vlogging or daily uploading, I would just say and film any little thing, but I just like don't do that now. But y'all have been asking for more content, so I need to figure out like, how am I going to make more content for y'all? Because y'all want it, so I want to give it to you guys. Anyways, I'm actually about to... Side characters, um, going out into the wild, full body shots. You don't even have to think about it. You don't have to put effort into it. We're laying out all of it for you do my hair and do my makeup okay hi i am ready and i just filmed a couple tiktoks i'm trying to do like daily q a's on instagram as well just to like correspond more with my audience and plus you guys always have so many questions and i don't mind answering them by the way i took my nails off because one fell off and that is the first time that's happened since i got them started getting them done okay we're going back anna lynn so the very first video we watched when she was um was the first one we watched about when she was complaining about how she's backtracked or whatever okay so we're going back so this video is going to be the one where she bought all the Trader Joe's food and then that she binged on. And now she has to admit in her video that unfortunately she just needs to admit that she just can't can't eat that shit. <laughs> that's why we kind of worked back, because that's that's funny shit right there. This was before this was before this was six days ago months ago but it just like came off and my brain said i'm not fixing to have nine nails and one missing so i just took them all off i'm not sure when i'm getting them done again this is where she bought the food the mac and cheese that you just seen her eat what else is she in that video she was it pasta and cheese throughout the whole video it was wasn't it that for breakfast she had like a bag a frozen bag of pasta and cheese and then the last meal she showed was one of those tv dinners reduced fat mac and cheese I think I have an idea of what I'm going to do. Actually, I'm debating between two <laughs> colors. I can't decide. Went to Trader Joe's. Look, there, <laughs> there's all the goodies. There's all the foods that she bought that she's going to binge on and have to admit to later on. Look at that. So I'm going to do a haul when I get home. Okay, guys, so I just got home. I went to Trader Joe's. So we definitely have some hauling to do. So this is like a grocery haul moment. But it's actually the first time that I have been. Dude, she walks like a grandma. 
Did you like you don't even see her actually walk, but you can just see like the turn that she does. It's a Trader Joe's, so I'm gonna do a haul when I get home. <laughs> I can't get over that. Like she's 33. Okay, guys, so I just got home. I went to Trader Joe's. So we definitely have some hauling to do. So this is like a grocery haul moment. But actually the first you see the wobble that she does? It's just pasta and juice all day. First time that I have been in Trader Joe's here in Oklahoma and I loved it. It was in like the cutest little spot. Genuinely, it was giving such good vibes. So let's start with the first bag. I just got some eggs because I like to have eggs in the morning. And before anyone says anything, yes, this is processed food. Every single time I do a Trader Joe's haul, people always say that. And I'm just like, yeah, um, I don't go there often. But when I do, it's like I, I stock up. On well, now now do you see that that you've had your little, uh, your, uh, what do you want to call it? Where she backtracked on her weight loss journey because of all the processed food. Do you see why people give you shit, Amber? Can you at least recognize where you fucked up and why people were saying in your comment section that you shouldn't be eating this shit? It's all processed shit. I'm like the things I really like from there. It doesn't even matter. I'm counting calories. <laughs> Very good says this one's the real co uh, cockroach. Let's be real. I mean, yeah, you write about that very good, but she is only 33. So she's got seven years or Chantel's got seven years on Amber. I don't know. Who's the cockroach? Let's do a poll. 488 votes. What are you motherfuckers asleep at the keyboard or what? This is great. <clears throat> and do you believe that Amber Lynn Reed is 488 pounds? 81% says no and 18% say yes. Okay, one more poll. Ah, shit. Damn it. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> That's pretty fucking funny. Whatever. <laughs> Okay, okay, back to you, Amberlynn. He's losing weight, and that's all that matters. So I got these <laughs> snacky clusters. It's sea salt, potato chips, corn chip dippers, mini pretzel nuggets, mixed in milk chocolate. So excited to try that. Shouldn't be eating that. <clears throat> Definitely shouldn't have that on your weight loss journey. That. I got some of these sour cream and onion flavored rings, lentil and rice snacks. I got yep, some that's definitely a no. <clears throat> all right, let's see what else, what other goodies she's got for her weight loss journey olives this is stuffed olives it's garlic and jalapeno i needed some soy sauce so i hope i like the soy sauce because they didn't have like my favorite brand of soy sauce which is totally fine. soy sauce sodium in a jar look she had to get her sodium her olive sodium soy sauce sodium and then i really wanted like a pasta sauce which they didn't have what i normally have because trader joe's doesn't have stuff like that but there's a pasta sauce that i have been having but i decided i'm gonna try something different this is a spicy pasta sauce so excited to try it <laughs> that all right it's fine we're keeping her memory alive she'd be okay with it on to the second bag i got some of their mashed potatoes which i love mashed potatoes in a bag that goes in the freezer who thought that who thunk of such shit all right on to the second bag which one of you are out here cooking frozen mashed potatoes that's disgusting i got some of their mashed potatoes which i love i got two things of i know i know the last thing this girl needs to be eating is mashed potato anything vegetable panning curry with jasmine rice i also love these definitely I love don't need that shit neither all this shit none of this shit she should be eating literally everything that i got honestly um i've never had this which i'm sure i will love it cheese filled fiocchetti with pink sauce i know that i'm pronouncing that wrong so yeah there's the noodles shouldn't be having that shit neither come for me come for me i already know what's happening um i also got some brussels sprouts i got two things of the spicy jalapeno chicken sausage i got a bag of the chicken gyoza pot stickers love i'm mm, chef's kiss got a thing of some chana masala i've never had this I have had it from like uh indian it's very fascinating to watch how people grocery shop but i've never tried it from there so i decided to try it i got some peppered salami salami can be triggering for me but i'm hoping i have it under control <laughs> salami is very triggering to her control and if i <laughs> That's just so funny. I don't, I know to just never buy these again. So yeah. And then also got some ground turkey. All, All right. right. So the final bag here, what you I got, got some there? of these rice cracker medleys. It's a mix of baked rice crackers flavored with soy sauce, salt and vinegar and chili. With uh, more, more soy sauce, sodium. Spicy green peas. I personally love stuff like this. So yum. And then I got some of these mochi rice nuggets and these are spicy. I'm excited to try those. I just got some broccoli here, some pulled pork tamales. I like making these in an air fryer. It's just mini chicken tacos. I got some Thai vegetable gyoza. If you guys remember, then you know. This motherfucker needs to stay out of the frozen department. 
all the all the TV dinners that they have, she goes through and uh, most of this shit I ain't even never seen before. She goes through and looks at it all. That shit is so overpriced and such trash. It's insane. I got two of these mac and cheese. Two. Oh, she didn't just get one. She got two, motherfucker. Look at that, would you? Which I really like. And then I got some of these salami sticks. <clears throat> I got Waste of money. Look at this. You're paying for packaging. You're paying for the name. You're nothing. That that you do. You know how little of product you're getting in these packages. Waste of money. Got three packs of them, which is six of them. Um, this is what it look at that. There's nothing in there, but those were so expensive. It's like I was like, okay, I want to try those. I got some of these tricky meatballs. If you guys know, then you know. I went through a phase where I was obsessed with those as well. And then the last thing I got are these buffalo style chicken. Another. Another. Another, another one, another one. Her going to the one Trader Joe's in Oklahoma would have been a sight. Very busy and the aisles aren't big. Keep up the great work, Amber. Ha! Thank you, Tamara, for your support. I appreciate you. That would have been a sight. So now I have to put everything away, so I'm going to go do that. Okay, guys, so real quickly, I'm going to do a monkey. I want to see your freezer. I want to see the inside of your freezer with all those TV dinners in there update on how much weight i lost in march because i did it in january where i lost seven pounds i did it in february where i lost nine look at her after she done bought all that bullshit she's gonna talk about how much weight she done lost get out of here and two pounds and now march how much she probably sent her mom in with a list like she used to do with beck you think she sends her mom in and like she pays her mom to do her grocery shopping that's definitely very possible i mean because we see her wobble just do the turn in her kitchen you want me to believe that she's going out and she's actually grocery shopping for her i think it's great if she is that would be that would be at least that you could say like good on you for doing your own grocery shopping but i don't know if i believe that shit i lose so i actually weighed in today at 489.6 so that means in the month of march i lost exactly 10 pounds which i'm very very proud of and i notice i'm losing more and more weight each month so it'd be cool if in april i lose 10.2 or more than that zero nutrition full of chemicals fail failure amberlynn failure it's not bullying. It's just the truth. Look at that. She's like, bitch, I know you ain't over here talking about my TV dinners. Let's see your freezer. What are you cooking? Your kids. I gotta know. <laughs> so that could be like a cute little challenge. Let's hope that I even remember that I said that. But I'm just very proud of myself. Thank you, Megan. Like, I... For the kids. Dude, I'm doing the damn thing. I'm not stressing, like, too hard about it. And I think with the lack of, like... Yeah, you should be, though. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe you should stress about it. Maybe you should be worried. I mean, damn. I'd say the majority of us ain't even close to being as big as you are. And I'm over here like, oh, motherfucker, I hope I don't have a heart attack. You know, <laughs> like, what the fuck? You should be worried. I'm just saying. Like stressing about it because normally like if I'm counting calories, I want to be like perfect and I want to eat the right things. Realistically, like it's not going to happen. Like you guys saw my haul today. As long as I stay below my calories. Why is it realistically not going to happen? See, you, you've let these motherfuckers get these, these people get in your ear. I don't know if it's the therapist or who it is that's telling you this shit. We just got to be more realistic about your diet, okay? You're not going to always do good. You're not going to always be on track, which may be the case. But see, you're doing that, and then you're you're kind of like running with that, and you're creating your own fucking stories and your own narratives and shit like that and excusing a lot of the shit that you're buying and a lot of the shit that you're eating. That's not what they mean. That is definitely not what they mean. And it, it's very realistic for you just to not fucking eat the trash that you're buying and ordering out you know what though is so crazy as bad as that grocery haul was it doesn't even come close come close to the shit that she's ordering on those food apps like you think that shit was bad you think that shit that she should just showed us was bad imagine what she's not willing to show us jesus christ you know how big the circle is i gotta make to go around the head <laughs> i mean you ain't wrong maggie Damn, straight to hell too, all of you. That haul plus takeout equals crazy pants, yeah. And I think there's definitely more food that they got. That's not all of her uh, groceries that she got. She definitely got some shit that she's not willing to show us. Right now, that is all that I'm focused on. She's 500 fucking pounds. On. And I know eventually down the road, I'm gonna have to start eating healthier and switching things up that way. But right now what I'm doing is working for me and I'm just really happy about it. Okay, guys. Are you, are you really happy about it? Okay, great. So I did take off my shirt. Don't mind that. So I opened these. I was about to try them and I was like, you know what? I kind of want to do it for the vlog because what the heck is this for real, for real? Mochi rice nuggets. I don't know. They look like that. They're supposed to be crispy, crunchy, and spicy. But let's try it. Oh, I just looked um, in the camera 
And a lot of people have been asking me lately how long it took me to actually get this in the mail. And I think they're asking me because they're trying to catch Chantel in a lie, Beauty Beauty, because she also received hers. So to answer that question, I'll just post uh, when I opened it. So here it is. Hey guys. What? No way. Really, Nikki P. OJ Simpson? No fucking way. I gotta see this. Hold on. Stop the press. Really? What the fuck? I didn't know the dude had cancer. OJ Simpson dead at 76 after cancer battle. Really? Wow. That's crazy. 76, huh? Mm-mm-mm. He was surrounded by his children and grandchildren. During this time of transition... His family asks that you please respect their wishes for privacy and grace. Holy shit. Really, Chrissy? I didn't know that. I guess I don't follow. Mm-mm-mm. <clears throat> well, mm -hmm. So a lot of people have been asking me about this, and I finally got it. I'm kind of like, I don't know. I'm really shocked. I never imagined. Isn't it different? Like, looking at Amberlynn then, I don't know how long, I forgot what she said as far as date goes. She does look so much different. What is this? This is the uh, six minute, 36 second mark. Okay. This is Amberlynn. Does anybody, what year did she say this was? Yeah, he's almost 80. There she is. There she is today. Here she is today. There she was then. Like, I'm not seeing a big difference. Do y'all see a big difference? I don't see it. I mean, yeah, she looks different, obviously. She looks younger here. But the heads are like the same. Sweet B says same weight, no filters. Um, The chat has been yelling here for 15 minutes. Well, I've been watching Amberlynn. Y'all are here talking about OJ Simpson. I'm watching a damn video. Hell. Jesus. Anyways, I'm going to skip the clip of her stupid trophy. I don't care. I don't care. Be like, it was just emotional. I just thank you guys so much. And now I have like 220K. Like, what are you guys doing? You guys are amazing. Okay, let's try these though. I'm a little nervous. They smell like seasoning, like a spicy seasoning. They're crispy and crunchy. So, so far, that's correct. Mm. I don't think I like it. I do like the texture. Mm -hmm. I love crunchy. So I feel like for some people- Do you like so chips, big girl? <laughs> you like chips. I see, there's a spice to it, but it just doesn't taste that great. So that was kind of a flop. They did have ones that weren't spicy. So I feel like next time I go to Trader Joe's, I'm gonna try those. You guys, I have had an absolute influx of people contacting me about my exes. One has a new girlfriend, one is married. People are assuming I am single, which I get it. People are also assuming I'm jealous and bitter. Literally, no. I want both of them to be happy. I want them to move on from me and the relationships that we've had. <laughs> move on from her. She's so funny. And they definitely have, and I've also done the same thing. I am keeping things from you guys. Um, I do have a love life, though. I very much do. I have talked about Valentine a little bit. I just She's got an internet girlfriend, guys. That's what she means. She has an internet girlfriend. Of course she has a love life. I do things a little bit differently this time. You know, not just like bombard you guys right off the bat like hi you know i have a new love interest like i have talked about her and it was before my ex got a girlfriend it was before my ex got married dating at 500 pounds is wild bro <laughs> that is wild because i'm over there on i'm here for it though instagram like yeah i do have you know a little love life going and yes i am actively in love right now and the reason why i'm not talking about that in my videos i'm like bombarding you oh she's in love girl y'all think filters i'd be thinking she's been looking prettier the past several months thought it was makeup but maybe it's filters i think it's a little bit of both yulia i, I think it's the filters maybe her makeup i don't know i don't know you guys what that is because i do want to do things differently because so much in the past i've just like word vomited all my relationship stuff and like with feline I thanks for coming in dg i'm gonna wrap it up very much learned how to be more like 
private. And I'm not saying that this relationship is going to stay private. It's just very much I want to just like give you guys a little bit at a time because I'm still figuring out my stuff. Like this is still new for me. Just know that I'm very happy and I'm also happy for my exes. I'm not some like jealous, bitter, crazy ex. Like that's literally not who I am. I know a lot of people like to assume that they know me and who I am and how I feel and how I react to things. But like y'all aren't right. And I don't mean that like in a negative way. But yeah, like we're all friends. <laughs> Do you think she does naked video sex with her internet girlfriend? <laughs> Doubt it. That sounds like it requires way too much work in our own way and i think that like y'all i've moved on i just i want you guys to she might send a boob picture or something yeah probably the same we are all our own separate individuals living our own separate lives and like, i just really truly think it's time just let me be me and i no longer want to be like destiny's ex or becky's ex like i'm just not wanting that like i am at such a different space in my life different era just who i am as a person is just so different i feel like i've lived multiple <laughs> lifetimes especially here on youtube like go look i just i have transformed constantly and i just feel like i'm at my most Y'all like, when like youtube like vloggers were more raw like if you were gonna watch a vlogger like the raw shit when youtube like not necessarily was new but when a lot of these vloggers were new on the platform and they were just more about doing what it was what they were supposed to do which is just filming their fucking life like she's always just sitting down talking I don't want to hear you talking about your exes. I don't want to hear your thoughts and opinions on any fucking thing. Just live. Just live and record it. I guess maybe that's what she meant when people <clears throat> were contacting her, telling her to be raw and unfiltered or whatever. I can't even remember what the fuck she said. But then all of a sudden, everybody just gave a fuck, I guess, and cared what people just try to create the narrative that's not true and just like Amber and Chantel is so stuck on us believing that they're really about their weight loss and that they're, it's just weird. Like the old shit was so much better, especially like the Amber Lynn videos. Like that shit was good shit. Like she was the queen of the community for a reason. Ah, this shit is just stupid independent happy true self and i'm enjoying learning more about myself like there are things that i definitely need to improve on though like don't get me wrong like i really need to see a therapist they just talk about doing stuff and, and never show it i don't know if it's because of the weight gain and just aging and going out and doing stuff is just so much harder and everything i guess gets picked apart and they don't want to have to deal with that like i get that but jesus man that's what like that's what built your channel that's how you got to the two hundred thirty-two thousand subscribers that you have it's very dry, butter crumpet. It's for my borderline personality disorder. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I thought I was better in that regard. Like, it's not something that, like, you can just, like, heal from instantly. No, it takes years and years and years of, like, therapy. But I thought that I saw improvement in myself. And, like, a situation happened recently where I'm just like, whoa, girly pop needs to go to therapy. And that's something I can definitely, like, admit out loud is, like, I need help. And I personally have never gone to therapy for a borderline personality disorder. I recently went to therapy and I had, like, over... 22 visits with the same psychologist who I loved. She helped me tremendously, but I wasn't seeing her for borderline personality disorder, like as a whole. And now I need to find a therapist who specializes in that. And I am a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so I'm totally just rambling right now. But yeah, I'm, you guys, I have my own life over here, not sharing everything. Yeah, like out when they used to go to restaurants and they'd, it, it would be her and what was it, Destiny and their friends and they'd go out and they would film each other and they'd laugh and they'd eat food. And they'd eat chicken nuggets on the way to their car and they'd laugh at each other and think that shit was so hilarious. Like, you're still that same person. Just because you stopped filming that kind of stuff and you didn't, like, change the fucking reality of the situation. Like, you're still, you know, engaging in those behaviors. You're still fucking binging on food. You've just kind of taken recording and filming that shit and putting it on your channel because you want people to think that that's not happening. We know it is. So why not film it? She switched pronouns for the therapist mid-sentence. Not surprised. One day, I will. But, like, I just want to take things slow and just do things different. But just know that I am happy, and I'm also happy for my exes. Like, That's I great. am capable of feeling that way. That's as great. much as some people don't believe it. That's but great. I do want to end this video. I hope that you guys did enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. That's great. So to sum it up, she's so happy for her exes that are obviously doing way better in life than she is, and she's not willing to admit that. She's and she's totally got a she's totally in a relationship, guys, and she's totally in love. Ha, this is great. What's in the poll? Who is the real cockroach? 769 votes. 84% say foodie. 
8% say ALR, and 6% are going straight to hell. Thank you all so much for being here. It was a good time. Same time, same place tomorrow. Bye, guys. thought about doing food and beauty reaction simply for the fucking money. <laughs>